Who made this music? Shit slaps. Oh no, was it 15 seconds? Hold on. It's been a full minute. I don't know, I might have to bleep that out. Um, uh, Kasaro on Jads made the music. I commissioned three tracks from them. I think it was one at first and then two later on. Every day. The weird noises. What are you guys doing? Scooby chair, scooby life. Our streams back. Streams have been back for a while. And they should remain back in the near future. I don't foresee streams going away anytime soon. But you know, maybe tomorrow my basement will flood. They'll be gone for a while. Who knows? Joe, can you delay a bit of stuff? Ten minutes left on yesterday's VOD. Yeah, it was Black Mesa. Nothing, nothing really interesting happened. Don't worry. You, you don't need to watch the last ten minutes. Watch this one though. We're playing Black Mesa. doing fan art oh thank god well i was gonna do fan art i have it all set up on the on the next screen do you want me to delay it a day i didn't do fan art yesterday because i was feeling a bit sick i'm not feeling 100 percent today either so you know give me a reason and i'll delay it a day i'm good with that running the show.
Are we playing Signal today? We're not playing Signal today, no. I feel I was feeling a lot better this morning. Um, I went to bed early last night. I got a lot worse after the stream was over, and uh, I was feeling kind of fluey. And then usually when I feel that like that, I just need to go to sleep. And when I wake up, I feel better. I don't know if that's a superpower, if it's just normal, but usually if I feel sick, I can usually sleep it off. Um, so I did that, and I felt better in the morning, but the past hour I felt kind of eh again. Not as bad as yesterday, so it's good. It's a regular power, yeah, probably. This QT is by Baka. Sorry I'm super late to the party, but here's my take on Trolley Chan. I have a very bad last week, and watching Trolley Chan saga on VODs helped me a lot. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that we could, could cheer you up, Baka. Super cute. Super cute. Oh, the smiley face chest panel. Grenade and the helicopter gun there too. Damn. Very spiffy character design. Damn. When you play Armored Core 6, did the Armored Cores look like this? The trolley stuff has been exceptional. Yeah. Fan artists love her. Who can blame them? She got one of those belly button imprint things there. Nice. Well, she is very cute. Very, very cute. Thank you, Baka. Very creative headpiece, too. She deserves her own anime. Why'd you hate Charlie Chan so much? So you're gonna make her be an anime? What the hell? Anyway, we're doing fan art backwards today, apparently. This one's by Jelly. Is it a wrench chan? I think it's a wrench chan. Let's read the message. Designed by Zestorn HV, I swear, honest. Black Mesa and the, uh, uh... Alright, listen, I'm sick of this bit, and I'm in desperate need of getting some creativity into my system, so I'm just gonna stop, and if you don't say nothing, I won't say nothing neither. Ahem. Wrench Chan, Hi-Fi Rush, Chai Box, Art Pose, Sketch, Send, Tweet- Oh! Okay, I see. Uh, Black Mesa, Hi-Fi Rush, Die, High Bluff, Boom, Easy? Imagine calling yourself the Jack of All Trades, Master of Pun. After this. LLU Hi-Fi Rush 2025. Yeah, that's that's when we're gonna be playing it. 2025. Yeah. The Hi-Fi the Hi-Fi Rush uh, lobbying has uh, really kicked up a gear. It's Black Mesa Stream Two Part Part One. No, it's not. That was yesterday. It was Part One. This is Part Two. It's not episodes. Pizza Tower 23. So, okay, look, I looked at the pizza, pizza Tower, just it doesn't look like my thing. I'm sorry, chat. Like, it, like, I look at Hi Fi Rush, and I'm like, yeah, I want to play that. Like, that looks like fun. It's just the copyright shit has kind of got me down about it. Like, I want to play it. I look at Signalis, and I'm even like, you know what? I get it. You know, that, that could be interesting. I look at Pizza Tower, and I'm like, I have no desire to play this game whatsoever. 
maybe it's good. I'm not saying it's, it's bad. I just have no desire to play that game whatsoever. See, now it's not a Joe game. Neither is Pizza Tower, clearly. Big Jelly. By Sistorin, credited artist Chan. Wow, this brand new adventure through Black Mesa has inspired me to draw some brand new Chans. <laughs> Wrench Chan and Grenade Chan designs by Accursed Vagabond for anyone who didn't get the bit. Ooh, brand new Chans. You heard it here first. Very cute. Scary teeth. We need uh, a Jums plushie like that for sure. Music is a bit loud, is it? Okay. I mean, it's not even hitting yellow. Is it really loud? I'm hitting red on there. I don't understand audio. I listened to part of the stream back yesterday, and there's parts during gunfire where I am inaudible. The game is so loud in some in firefights. I knew that was a problem with some of the Half-Life streams before that, but I thought we had fixed it, but apparently not. Very, very cute. Thank you, Zestorian. Brand new chance. Speaking of dispelling misconceptions, did you know that of s approximately 66 total songs, only 10 tracks from the High Five Rush OST were licensed? <laughs> in fact, the developers composed and performed their own stand in tracks, which are the source of much de debate among fans of the game about which tracks were better from the license selection or the stand ins. Regardless, few who have heard both would consider the streamer mode as a gutted version of the game, but simply uh, an alternative. This message has been brought to you by the Keep 13 Sentinels Out of March Committee. I do like baiting the weebs. If Hypnospace is any example, you would you need to start hyping up Hi-Fi Russian Final Planet in January. Others should suffer like I have. A whole rhythm fan game uh, will be made. <laughs> cute new chance though. Very cute, very cute. By Maddie. The Chan who made a record by having the shortest lifespan. Partition Chan? Don't get distracted. Hope we can increase the productivity in some way. Joden, what are you doing? <laughs> Introduced. Action pose. Immediately dead. Tribute. Funeral. That's really funny. <laughs> that is really, really funny, Eddie. I like that a lot. The smiling face completes it. No guilt. Zero guilt. Don't feel guilty at all. What's this bet? Are you as confident as Joe? Will he beat Black Mesa? Like, what you mean, today or at all? Like it's unthinkable that I won't beat it at all, isn't there? How's that gonna happen? Lost changes a man, Joe couldn't even preserve the rem her remains after killing her. That's true, it, we, we couldn't do it, we couldn't do it. By Daxteer, angry anteater activated a neuron in my brain. Ooh, very uh, Horton hears a who? Dr. Seuss, right? I think that's Horton hears a who. Angry sip with the bee koi shirt is very nice. This is true. Very relatable. Horton heard an owl. What would Owl be? Mm -hmm. 
Grumpy Goose, Angry An Anteater, Mad Mouse, Sad Swan, What would Owl be? Outraged Owl? Outraged Owl would be pretty good. When they were babies and they would tantrum, we would call them tarantulas. So, tantrum tarantula. Mila does that a little bit now. Badass B play. Thank you, Dexter. Every time Joe reads the Discord usernames after the actual names, sometimes including the discriminator numbers, makes me an angry anteater. Did he say I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Thank you, Daxteer. Daxteer, hashtag 8166. By Sam. OC, do not steal. This is part of it. I saw this one before. This is very much a part of the, part of the vibe here. Shadow the Hedgehog, Gordon, hunt down the, the Sonic. <laughs> oh ho, is that Betwail? Is that what it's gonna be? Child Soldiers. Oh, I'm a, a Witcher in it. Turns a corner. How did you escape? How you escape? Okay, <laughs> just the best part of the whole playthrough. Yeah, Hunt Down the Freeman was, um... I got some Freeman. Yeah, uh, Hunt Down the Freeman was, um... It wasn't a good game. It wasn't a good game. It wasn't completely abysmal, like I said, but it, it was, uh... It was a game, for sure. I'm glad we did it. I still have Welcome to Nevada Boys living in my head. It seemed like every scene, Welcome to, uh... Welcome to X, Welcome to X, Welcome to X. Always gotta do that. What the hell did I miss when I was busy? Was the entire play through some unholy British gremlin thing? Eh. Or was the entire game just possessed by a demon? Let me get up the VOD. And to think he cheesed some of the worst sections too- Did I? When did I cheese some of the worst sections in, uh, in that? Maybe I just got lucky. By Paddle. I still have no clue what Pizza Tower is about, but Paddle's honestly cool pixel art posing like this only makes me more scared to ask. Oh, big, big Pizza Tower vibes. Thank you, Paddle. After I said I had no interest in the game, too. Well, you know what? I would have said the same thing for Undertale. No interest in Undertale, and then we played it, and I was like, oh man, this this rocks. So maybe I would like it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna need some more convincing. You guys are gonna have to make me play it. Do do do. Joe's doing up on visuals. It's not just that, although the visuals kind of remind me a little bit of Earthworm Jim. And I liked Earthworm Jim, Earthworm Jim on the Super Nintendo. It wasn't my favorite game, but I liked it. It's not the visuals, it's the gameplay flow. It looks very chaotic. Kind of like a s slow Sonic with a bunch of bullshit. Normally when I want to really play a game, like I, I see the trail, I'm like, oh man, that's intriguing, or there's something there that looks good, but it's like, eh, I don't know. It's very cool when you get good, but I'm bad at games. How am I going to be able to play it? Is it even slower than Sonic? What do you mean? Sonic is the fastest thing alive. What do you mean? Sonic is so fast. It's chaotic, but you can get into the chaos. Thank you, Paddle. By Ouija. All right, so here's the reason why we went backwards, because this one has audio, and I played it, and um, I'm just gonna be upfront about the fact that I don't get it. <laughs> but hopefully chat does. By Ouija. Me mix of Sneaky Snitch, Royalty Free, and Superstar by Young Thug. I'm pretty sure Shitpost doesn't go in Steam Art Museum, so I guess this one goes here. And apparently there was an executive decision that we're fine with the ship post being in here. All right, here we go. Let me turn it up. I mean, I like the Chrono Trigger sample. Get a lot of money, drive fancy cars. Everybody wanna be a superstar. Get a lot of money, drive fancy cars. Everybody wanna be a superstar. Get a lot of money, drive fancy cars. Everybody wanna be a superstar. Get a lot of money, drive fancy
All right, there we go. This is a pizza tower meme. Oh, of course it is. Of course it's a pizza tower meme. Why wouldn't it be a pizza tower meme? Everything's a pizza tower meme. The whole fan art has been a pizza tower, pizza tower meme. Anyway. All right, all done, all done. Okay. Thank you, Uji. Thank you. All right. So controversial chat, but um, I'm realizing that I I kind of need to pee because I didn't pee before the stream start. I took the dogs on the stairs, so I think I might have to go do that right now. But let's see. Let me get the game up first. Shit. Now I can't see anything. Uh, let me move my windows up first. Hold on. I almost just cleared chat. Sorry, let me get my window set up. Apparently there was another artifact for your fresh. I already closed the window. It's going to have to be for next time. Sorry. Windows there. I'm an old man. Once the windows start getting rearranged, that's it. It's done. Why is this taking me so long? What the fuck? Okay, minimize that. Joe, thoughts on overnight oats? I don't know what those are. What's an overnight oat? Let me Google that and then we will, I'll go pee. Overnight oats. Easy overnight oats. What is the secret to overnight oats? Okay, I don't know what they are. I don't like them. I don't like them. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fan of them. I've decided. I've known about them for 30 seconds and I've decided I don't like them. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's start the game. No, nope, not that. That's Factorio. Where is Black Mesa? You think it'd be Half Life Black Mesa? Factorio stream, maybe. Okay, I can see it on OBS, which means you guys should be able to see it. Can you hear it? Can I hear it? Let me go ahead and sit back on. Alright, I can hear running water. Very, very topical for me to go pee real quick. I'll be back in like two minutes. I gotta go up two flights of stairs and then back down to dodge a bunch of kids on my way. Wish me luck.
All right, back. How much water does he drink? Jesus. I wasn't peeing the whole time. I was peeing for like 20% of the time I was gone. It's a long walk to the bathroom. I'm going to turn the sound down to like minus 19 because it was stupid loud yesterday. All right, here we go. Lambda core. Long lonely road to the washroom. Yeah, that's what the Green Day song is about. Boulevard of Broken Streams. I walk a lonely way. Oh, I used to say thank you to people. <laughs> that gets a plus two? Really? This this gets fucking plus twos. Rare Joe plus we mean plus twos coming out of me all over the place. Thank you, Aurora Boris 188 for the resub. Thank you, Nexel Novo for the resub. Thank you, Sarah the Sly. Hey, Sarah, for the resub. Thank you, Sio AFK for the resub. Jeb Cosby for the new sub. The Doctor 12 for the resub. Sub Zero 8127 for not just the resub, but also gifting out five subs to people as well. That was right at the beginning of the stream. Thank you, Sub Zero. <clears throat> Putting the sub and sub zero there. Thank you, P Kill Boredom for the resub. The Bash Lord. Bike Kawa Kawasaki Bike for Oh, that's a new sub. So thank you, Bachelor, for the resub. Thank you, Bike Kawasaki Bike. Hopefully I'm saying that right for the new sub. Thank you, Sum Weeaboo. Is it me for the resub? Zorgrox for the bits. And Meg Poid Nebri for the resub. Thank you very much. Sarah's paying their boss but I know, right? I just, you know, it's... What, is, what kind of scam am I running here? Okay, why does my monitor keep going... Going black? Maybe, maybe my monitor is breaking. Okay, the layout here seems similar. This is gonna be where we see G -Man? No, it's not. Okay, shit. Well, no, I'm out of options now. Let's go climbing. Let's go sunning. It's a good for you. Okay, so I am finishing this today, even if it means I have to stream for seven hours. I already, I already told Lily. I told her. I didn't ask. I told her, like a like a boomer husband. I was like, Lily, this is what I'm doing today. Make it work, woman. That's what I did today. Oh crap! Sorry, sorry, sorry. That was just you know, response. Sorry. You are a sight for sore eyes. Yeah, because I hit you in the face. Yeah. Head on downstairs. All right. The old man's got a plan to get us out of this mess. This is different. Also kind of different. And then that access pipe down there will take you on to the core. Hurry on now, son. Okay, now you're really quiet. It's so quiet on my end now. Hold on, let's turn the sound up a little bit. Oh wait, I can just turn it up here. Never mind. Time is short. Alright, what's it like for you? Too quiet, too loud? Quiet, quiet. Can I turn voices up but sound down? I can't. God damn it. All right, there's not that many voices in the game. Who cares? Get on your game face, Doc. Yeah, game face. Yep. You can modify OGG file. Okay, give me a second, and I'll go do that. I'm doing it while this is going. I'm very talented. Lambda, that's the name of the chapter. A 
Oh, this is cool. Merrick, Merrick, if someone if someone came to you and said, "I want to commission," I don't know. I want to I want to commission fifty pictures of of a character from you in order to train my stable diffusion or whatever the hell program to make my own AI art of this character that I'm commissioning you to make. Number one. Like, would you would you go for that, or would you, on principle, would you be like, no, that's that's go that goes against the artist code. And if you would go for it, like, I'm gonna re reload because I'm fucking playing like crap. If you would go for it, would you charge more? No, I don't want to know how much you would charge. Like, it, this doesn't matter. I don't want you to have to say that. Like, would you charge more because because you're because uh, you know what it's gonna be used for, or would you just just be regular amount? You could also tell me, I don't know, Joe, this is a weird question. Merrick doesn't take commissions, he refused to draw dragon feats for me. Maybe, 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 um, yeah, maybe there was a subject matter there. I don't know, Joe, I never thought about this seriously. Okay. I wanna know if, like, our artists banning against the AI overlords. Honestly, I think drawing 50 characters thing is the hard part. No, 50 images of the same character. Maybe that's too many. Maybe, I don't know. Do, do, does the AI not even need that many? Maybe it needs less than that. I don't know. I just pulled that number just out of my, uh, my butt. I don't know why I said butt instead of ass. But I said, I said it. And I'm regretting my choice more as the time goes by. Maybe I shouldn't stream today. <laughs> Why is this so <laughs> Do we go down? It go down? Isn't this coolant? How are we just swimming in coolant? Father of five losing it. Five? Chat, what is the song Joe sings after he does something terrible? The do 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 thing? Like do 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 That one? That's from Persona 4. I don't remember the name of it. Like a dream come true. My singing is that good, yep. But we're trying to find the name of the song. Alright, this seems like it's the right way. This place is kind of annoying. 
I don't know what buttons do before I click on them, and all of a sudden they're just gone. Okay, let's take the let's take the stairs. Oh no! I'm coming. All right, we did it. That's a ladder. Stairs and ladders are are, um, are interchangeable in Canada. You can, you can call them whatever you want. Fellow Canadians in the chat will will uh, confirm. Okay, how did they make this area even more confusing than in the original? Okay, so they can, they can just matrix dodge, fucking, like, does that have iframes? Like, what the fuck's going on there? Was it going under his arm? That was terrible. What is this move? Crisscross. Ah, <laughs> uh, XCOM. <laughs> really makes you feel like you're playing XCOM. Should we do an XCOM run chat? I've never played XCOM for more than five minutes because I got mad at the 99% hit hit rate misses. We could do Iron Man and we could um, we could name the characters from chat, and then we could be upset when they die. Or we could chantify every single every single uh, soldier. Trolley Chan, Bike Chan. Okay. How is he still alive? Can I watch the replay on that one? Commander. Clip a chat. Even when chat watches back the clips, they can be wrong. Like they still think I didn't hit the um the helicopter in that one clip, and I did. They were right about me backing into the 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 wire bomb though yesterday. That they were definitely right there. Chat is never wrong. If they're wrong, are they wrong on purpose? Which is, in a way, being right. Alright, let's go. Save it. Why is this here? In case you fall in the coolant? Oh, we're back in the room. Okay, good. So we're we're done in here now, right? Okay, I'm actually legitimately confused about where to go. I'm really turned around. Did you see the gameplay for Final Fantasy 16? It looks insane. I did not see the gameplay for Final Fantasy 16. No, sorry. Not really big on Final Fantasy anymore, but uh, I'll give it a look. See.
Okay, so this one is on now, right? And I think we needed to put two on before we could get in and start using the teleporter room. Okay, so sometimes they just take three shots unless you hit them in the eye. I'm not going to shoot these anymore unless they've just done a shot and are standing still. I'm done. Alright, so we do pump, pump and tank one. Alright, so that is this way. Why is one not, not on the same side? Why did they do that? I blame Black Mesa for this, not the remakers. Like, why the one, but no, this is two. Like, why not? For the record, on the clip, your crosshair was on the Vortigaunt on both of the shots. I'm not sure if this follows the same second shot random inaccuracy of other source games like Counter-Strike, which could explain it partially. Um, I think I just got landed two shots on another one over here, so I guess sometimes if it hits their arm, you need three shots to kill a Vortigaunt, even with uh, the revolver, so. You would think that two shots on it would kill it no matter what, considering how much damage it does, but apparently not. Thank you for checking. Oh, so they won't they won't eat those? Barnacles won't eat the little puppies? Based. How is the sound of the machine gun fire? Is it still overpoweringly loud compared to me? Like, if I talk while the machine gun is firing, like, I'm talking right now, can you guys hear me now? Or is it just, I'm completely drowned out and you can't hear me at all? Like, do I need to turn it down more or what? It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. We're gonna have to do gun tests for every game that we play from now on. Are there guns in Deadly Premonition, or is that a spoiler? Shit. Did he just do the attack and then dodge? No, I'm just terrible. Okay, we did it. Damn, Joe's a boomer. A little bit, but I'm also overthinking every shot on these guys now. Because of their random sidestep bullshit. Which isn't really bullshit. It adds a uniqueness to fighting them, I guess. Hates tables. What's this? Is this like a little fold out bed? Doesn't look comfortable. 
If we play XCOM with chat or chance, does that mean I'm sent to die anyway as Curator Chan, or am I canonically not a Chan? You can be Curator Chan, sure. Curator Chan. How long does XCOM? Would XCOM be long enough to delay 13 Sentinels? Oh look, the weeb wanted 13 sentinels! Silly weeb. It would be long enough, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Someone listening to this, maybe not right now, but maybe on the VOD, will actually be angry. I actually hate them. I actually hate- what, what's going on? Oh, it's a head crab! Okay, we got him. World first. I don't think that hit me. You should play Earth Defense Force 5. Isn't that just XCOM? Okay, he just did the dodge while channeling. I'll play clearly, yeah. Emergency drain cap still active. Okay. Physics, yep, he really is a physicist. Oh, was I supposed to hit a button down there? Or is it that thing over there? No, it's not that. Yeah, this thing. Where's that? Last time it was down on the bottom. Oh, it's there. Okay. My B.
we did it. Looks like we made it. Did we go down there? Yeah, we did. We hit a button. No, no, no. We did. We did. We hit a button. I remember. My only qualm with XCOM is that you can brick a campaign after spending so many hours into it. That probably feels awful. Can you really? I know you can do that on Iron Man mode or whatever, obviously, but I didn't know you could just do that on a normal one. The research part of that looked interesting. Thank you, Cian Senis. Hopefully that's somewhere close to being correct for the resub. Thank you very much. more lenient, much to the chagrin of old XCOM heads. Imagine how depressing it would be if Joe plays on max difficulty mode and it just turns into darkest dungeon. Oh yeah, you, you guys could see me go, like, lose my mind, like, on stream, live. Do we go down to the middle one now? Did, didn't we do that before? I think we do, don't we? Hold on. Let's go back and talk to the... No, that is what we do. We, 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 um, we swim up. I remember. This is what we do. What if, like, there, inexplicably there was another one of those, uh, fish, fishes in here? Can we go down here? Totally get through there. Alright, what's this? Oh, it's an alien that we killed. Wait till your 99% hit chance is guaranteed miss and I get my heart ripped out. There's a, a mechanic in uh, Factorio Space Exploration where you have to set up um, missile defense, uh, meteor defense um, cannons. And I had. I think 20 of them in my asteroid belt base. Uh, a meteor shower came in. They have an 80% chance of, of hitting the meteor when it comes in. 80% chance, okay? And if one misses, then um, the next one fires. So like, it's, it's not like if one misses, the meteor comes in. It's like, no, they, they all fire. It already knows it's missed if it's fired. A meteor shower came in, seven meteors. 20 cannons, every single one of those motherfucking meteors hit my fucking base. Every single fucking one of them hit my fucking base. How, it, like, it, at that point, it's, it's so improbable, it must just have, like, Oh, we say 80%, but there's also, like, a coin flip failure rate or whatever. Like, sometimes we just make you fail, Lamayo, or there's, like, diminishing returns on shooting them all down or whatever. Like, every so often, one of, like, a wave has to get through, I guess. Is how, like, because there's no, there's no way. Like, I lost to 20% on, on fucking 20 cannons. Like, there's no fucking way. Or, sorry, I lost an 80% chance on 20 cannons. Like, come on. Just get aim punch and shot above him there. How are you not that? Eight percent loss on twenty cans is one percent chance. Have me hit. None of them hit. None of them hit. Every single fucking meteor hit the ground. None of them hit. It was like me trying to shoot these guys right now.
Oh, this gun's really powerful. I mean, how many hit the ground? How many 1% chances did you get on by- No! That, I'm, that's what I'm saying. All seven meteors hit my base. The defense ray didn't kill a single fucking one. They all fired and all whiffed. And the other ones only fire if you're the one who misses. Right? Someone in chat has played the game, right? That's how it works. I'm pretty sure. I've seen, like, like uh, one, one meteor come in and fucking, like, um... Three of my cannons have fired. I'm pretty sure. And then they shoot they shot it down. The missile defense is even worse because those are a uh, 50% chance to, to miss, but those are cheaper to set up. Skill issue, probably. Probably skill issue. Alright, we're going down there, I think. Alright, where we- okay, we're going- we're not going down here. If there's supposed to be music here, too soft, I don't hear any music. So I don't think there's supposed to be music. Oh. It feels like I'm back in the in the original instead of the remake. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the teleporter room. Could you usually watch on YouTube? Um, lately, I've only been watching some Cracking the Cryptic stuff, and I was watching some of uh, I think his name is David. Kipping or David Kipling? I'm not sure. He he has a YouTube channel called Cool Worlds. It's, it's about space topics. I've been listening to that a little bit. I've been enjoying those videos. They're a bit dramatic, but they're pretty good. Real question, would you go gay for Kiru? Not only would I go gay, gay for Kiru, I streamed it. You can see that happen live. All right, that is where we came from. Okay, this is different, what the hell? Oh, come on. Alright, we did it. 
Okay, did, did they just take away the teleporting mini game? Because, you know, that was, you know, it was quaint. It was fun, memorable part of the game. Morphine's pretty Moorish. Okay, we just we we lost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Ah, there we go. There's always talk on Jazz about how you're one of the few straight members there, and I think those people haven't watched the streams. <laughs> I I am pretty straight, unfortunately. Oh, he's dead. Right, that's good. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being straight, but you know, it'd be more fun to, to be by it. Right. Right. More options, more fun. Kind of a grass is greener take, though, to be honest. Oh, we could have got over there! Going in there. Looks like we're going in there. Yeah! Nailed it. Okay, did they really take away the teleporting puzzle or, or what? Is that coming up? Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Wait, we we just loaded this room and that's it. It's uh unfortunate loading. Bi phobia is kind of a bitch. Yeah, um, I don't know much much about it, but some people I've spoken to who are bi have said um that they get they get some shit from from both gay people and straight people about like you know. Just decide, pick a side, which is just so fucking juvenile. What do you mean, pick a side? Like, what? Just, but yeah. Alright, so this, it loaded here. It seems really annoying. This is the way I think. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, so we are gonna do the teleporter puzzle. Okay, cool. Our society is still extremely uh, messed up when it comes to sex. Our society is pretty messed up in a lot of ways, I think, but. Like, and I, I am probably also messed up in a lot of ways because of, because I grew up in that society, you know. I've said it a few times on stream before that a lot of the opinions that I hold and that the majority of the, that, that are held by, uh, sorry, and that are held by the majority of people in chat right now, um, even some of you that consider yourself to be very progressive are probably going to be considered like monstrous in the future, just absolutely monstrous. So look back at this time and be like, holy shit, this is what they thought, you know, like. 
Um, and you shouldn't really feel bad about that because, you know, you can't help it. I'm gonna get you. If your opinions that you have right now are considered monstrous, then yeah, you should maybe feel a little bit bad about that and work on it, but like, you shouldn't hold yourself to future standards. I warned you. <gasps> Nietzsche? Just kidding, I know who it is. It's Albert Einstein of the uh, Steens Gate fame. I remember this room. Jimin? Jimin has six pieces on him! Man, how many- how often do we find ourselves in the place where we can shout at someone through glass and say that meme? It's uh, it's becoming one of my favorites. Why no seaman? Well, there was- there was a seaman, but, um, you know, they've rolled through the alphabet. And now we're on G. When G re re uh, retires, we'll be on whatever comes after G. I don't know off the top of my head. I'd have to sing the whole alphabet to do it. H. It's H. I got there. It, it would be H-man. Alright, here we go. Teleporter. Now we've learned how the teleporter works. Nice. Ladder seem a bit wonky. They are quite wonky, yeah. They have you can hit like an E button to get off of them uh, uh, at some points, but it doesn't always work. I hope Gravity Rush is good. It looked like a moving jumping game. Is a moving jumping game. That's good. It just has to be better than Pizza Tower. Ooh, this is different. One second, chat. All right. Okay, so one of these is the reset. All right, it's not that one. It's that one, all right. Okay, where does this go?
Lee 247. Why 247? Laz. No, wait, hold on. <gasps> okay, so this is the two. Seven. All right, so th that's what that's all about. Okay, cool. However, I want to uh, I want to go through all of them. This time, we're not in Candace anymore. We're not in Candace anymore. Yeah, Candace Dick. this time. Okay, I think that's where five leads us. You're the one from the Anomalous Materials Labs, aren't you? I recognize you. No, 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 it's the wrong one. Wrong one. It's four. Ah, uh, also wrong one. Whoa, what the hell? Alright, now we go through four. Okay, save it. Good thing we saved it. Alright, nine is broken, there's seven, where does eight go? Where does eight go? Where does eight go? Were the numbers in the original game? They were, if I remember correctly, yeah. Oh crap, who's calling me? Potential fraud, I don't have a friend by that name. Alright, sorry, where are we gone?
Oh, this wasn't here in the original. Oh, maybe it was, and it gets lowered? right there oh no what am I doing okay disengaged did it. Surely there must be a better way to ra get around than that. He said he'll delete his YouTube channel if he doesn't. Yep, yep. And the streams. Don't forget the streams. I'm completely checking out if the video doesn't come out this year. That said, should I finally do my 10 hour long April Fool's joke idea this year? I have a month to do it. Even though it's 10 hours long, it won't take me the whole month to do it. It is a very low effort 10 hours. Uh-oh. Oh, this looks cool. Gordon Freeman, you finally found us. So this is the guy, huh? Thought you'd never make it. Oh, nonsense, Hunter. Nothing stands in the way of our errant knight and shining high impact. Is it long the Vich for three videos? No, that's longer than ten hours. Yes, not. Right then. This way, Dr. Freeman. We've been expecting you. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> Okay, there's another one here. I don't have to be- I thought the only reason I was the one to do it was because I had the special suit. There's another one here. One of you can do it. Not scared, are you? What you see before you is the supply depot for our first survey team. Quite a few handsome specimens were collected from the border world and brought back this way. Before the survey members started being collected themselves, that is. These readings have given us reason to suspect that there is an immense portal over there, created and maintained by the intense concentration of a single powerful being. I'm sure that you will know it when you see it. I am loath to say this, Gordon, but you must kill it. Why me? Yeah, you better kill it. No ifs, ands, or asses about it. <clears throat> What's with the attitude? Of course, you owe us nothing, Dr. Freeman. But you've come this far. You know as much about these creatures as anyone. Enough to know that if you don't wipe it out, well, let's put it this way. There ain't gonna be much for you to come home to. Oh no. Yes. So if you're willing, my colleague is waiting for you at the main portal controls. Dr. Steinman will open the gates for you. And don't let Hunter's brash attitude frighten you. We've all been a wee bit wrangled since the incident. Incident? He'll equip you with the proper armaments for the task ahead. Do hurry. They're waiting for you, Gordon, at the portal control chamber. Dr. Freeman, so glad you made it. I have one final accoutrement for you. Accoutrement? Oh man, I like accoutrement. This is the long jump module. I created it expressly for navigation in the world beyond. I certainly. 
certainly hope you've received long jump training, because once you're in Zen, you will need it. So, you're actually gonna go through with this, huh? Okay, why is it not letting me do it? You're braver than you look. Oh, it's double jump now. The best military grade hardware this side of the Rio Grande. Have it. Just try. Oh, God damn it. Have at it. Just promise you to put it to good use. How come you have one of more of these cannons? All right, we're all stocked up and ready to go. All my bags are packed. Crossbow doesn't really feel like it fits the theme here, huh? All right, we're ready. Better make sure we turn around at the end of this so we can see Adrian. Where's Adrian gonna run in from? Right here? Can you long jump backwards? I must not be you can. I'll have to start all over again. Don't enter the beam until I give the okay. Understood? I will begin. Okay, you're protected in there, though. Does the glass have lines on it? It does. You're invincible. I don't have to help you at all. I can just, I can just dodge all the enemies, and then that's it. All right, I'm just gonna find a hiding space and wait for you to tell me when it's ready to go in. Almost five years this was the end of Black Mesa? Really? Oh man. This is where the game should end, really. Or you go in and you just fight the boss and that's it. Ready to go yet? Let's go. Come on. Tarkov gameplay? What are you talking about? I can't see through walls. I am doing the wiggle though. Do -do 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 -do. Alright, can we be done yet? Alright, thank you. Alright, I'm saving. Right, this actually works. Adrian! Whoa. Damn, that looks awesome. Stranger Things? <laughs> ok, 
Okay, prologue's over. Oh, Freeman talked! Oh, did we just lose all our weapons after all that? Oh, we didn't. Okay, that's good. Alright, this is already very different. That looks awesome. Holy shit. Is it open world now? Oh man, what in the Subnautica is this? Oh, wow. All right, I really like this so far. Zen. Cool. from uh, Hunt Down the Freeman. Oh man, the music. Nothing screams majestic more than a, a man or a woman doing kind of vocals, but also not really from the distance. Can I jump on that? I can. All right, where are we going? Nowhere. We're dead. All right. Okay, cool. I love wordless singing. I do too, actually. I like. I'm making fun of it, but I also enjoy it. Infrastructure down? Like, what are they doing? Activate long jump. Okay, so, um, this is the first part of the game where it is just, like, entirely different. Like, they're not even trying. Like, this is, like, this is cut entirely from new cloth. Like, it's not like a, like, oh, it's the same area, but we changed the layout a little bit. Like, this is, this is completely different. Is the boss going to be different, too? I hope the big spider guy is still there. Because he was fun. Or she was fun. They were fun. I did all three, just in case. Is this the healing water? Well, apparently this part took five years to make so I would hope so well just because it took five years to make it depends on like how much backing did, the, did they have in those five years oh landing jets landing jets I have landing jets There's no fall damage in that. Is there really not? I think they should have had that in the base game, actually. Alright, I like the changes so far. That's neat. This is the healing water. Yes! It's teaching how to use the healing water. Okay, I'm scared. It's making scary water noises at me. Why would the water heal me? It heals all biological matter, maybe? You guys sucked.
You okay, dog? Oh, no, 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 for... Thank you, Hugs and Misses. Nice name for the resub. Hugs and Misses. Tuck top trolley into bed. Oh. Is gravity weird here or are those like anti-gravity crystals? Shift sprint. Yeah, I know. I know. I just played the whole game. I know how to sprint. I know how to sprint. He was trying to tell me that if I sprint with uh, with double jump, I go further. You're sleeping out here? Holy crap. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is so nice here. Chat, I didn't watch Joe play Steins Gate. I was wondering why he didn't like it. First of all, I didn't play anything. It's not a game. I read it. Um, I didn't like it because uh, for two main reasons, although there were a couple other reasons too. Uh, reason number one is that uh, the pacing was super goddamn slow. Really, 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 really slow pacing. It would go on for hours and nothing would happen. Um, and reason number two, they set it up like it was going to be like a really interesting semi-serious, like time travel story and then not only did they just like not explore that for long stretches of time when they did start exploring it it got so dumb that i could not continue i don't want to say what happened that was so dumb that i turned it off but uh it was great vegetables and that was it i was like nope this is just a waste of my time if you like it then i'm happy for you though Okay, what's going on? What's going on here? All right, we did it. Okay, is this uh, like I don't I feel like we came over here for actually nothing. I guess if I didn't have full shield, that would have been good to get. Do you prefer serious games with random funny moments or funny games with random serious moments more, Joe? Uh, games? Um, it's pretty hard to find a serious, a really serious game. Most games are not really serious, so I would like to see that and see what that's like. Um, in terms of other media, both are good. I think that the comparison and contrast of, of, uh, of something really funny in a very serious story can work wonders, and I also think the opposite is true. The opposite probably works even better, actually, when, when something that's usually silly and funny gets really serious for a moment and they pull it off. It can be really effective. 
Is it Witcher 3 serious? Eh. Witcher 1 and 2 are pretty fucking serious. Witcher 3, I'm not sure if Witcher 3 is serious. Oh boy. Aw, oh, cool. Alright, I'm really enjoying this so far, chat. I, I'm really surprised at how much I'm enjoying this. This feels like a whole other game. Should we go and kill him? You know what? They're hanging out here. This is their home. Why, why do we go in and kill their home? Someone said, really? Thought all three games were the same tone? Really? You thought Witcher 1, 2, and 3 are this, the, the same kind of, kind of tone? Um, I mean, I'm not saying Witcher 3 is like super silly, but I found it less serious than Witcher 1 and 2. I would say Witcher 2 is probably the most serious out of them all. Oh, I can't double jump after that. Shit. Heart of Stone is very serious, and probably the most serious that Witcher 3 is, Heart of Stone, uh, whereas Blood and Wine is very not serious. Blood and Wine is, well, it has some serious moments for sure, but uh, Heart, uh, Blood and Wine has some really, really silly bullshit, uh, which works for the most part, but they're kind of opposites there. Maybe we are going to have to kill you. With the G man, you get the crossbow bolt. That's what they always say. Why so many? Would you call Witcher Three realistic? Life isn't all serious all the time. It has a lot of goofy stuff. Yeah. Um. There's some of the. Well. Okay. Like. A lot of the the goofy stuff that happens with with the Witchers when you go to Kaer Morhen and some of the stuff with uh, Yennefer and all all that that is very realistic and feels like like proper silliness and and like a reasonable amount of silliness. I'm supposed to go over here. I guess, can I still go over there? That's a cool place I can go, even if I sprint it. Uh, whereas there are other parts in the game where it's like... I don't think that it's uh, appropriately silly. Uh, it also helps that it's probably one of the lowest parts of the whole the whole series. Um, the quest where the whole town has been turned into pigs is just completely fucking stupid. Owned! 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 Will you play Half-Life 3? Yes. I already have, actually. It's you no know, one, one of the perks of being a game critic. I get to play games before they come out. I've already played it. It's pretty good. You play as Alex, though, and it's a VR exclusive. It's kind of weird. What was the premise of the quest with the pig? I can't remember. Uh, there was a town in Witcher in Witcher Three, uh, in eastern part of Velen, a little bit north of the bog, uh, where they found through through a teleport, I think, in ruins nearby. They found a an altar with gold in it. I think the quest is called Fool's Gold, and um, the bunch of the townsfolk went in and they all took the money. And because they took the money, they got turned, they got cursed, and they got turned into pigs. Please wipe your feet. Do not wipe board. Dr. Oh, it's Dr. Horn! Uh, when you get there, there's only one person who has not been turned into a pig, and there's also some bandits that have killed a pig and are trying to eat it, and they don't know that it's, uh, that it's, um, 
that it's a person. Oh man, we can get another one. And uh, there's an option that you could potentially... You get offered some of the, the pig meat before you know that they're human, and um, no matter what you pick, you don't get to eat any, so... And also, no matter what you pick, uh, you have to have a fight there, so that's a that's a good thing. And there's one more that's... Uh, there's a friendly NPC that's there called Yontek, and Yontek uh, has magical powers, and you can never ask him about his magical powers, it's really weird. And then the conclusion of the quest is that you take all of the pigs, you lead all the pigs through a, a, a very awkward escort quest. There's, I think there's like maybe seven or eight of them. And you take them all back to the altar and they have to put the gold back and then they just turn back into humans. And even though there was only seven or eight pigs there, now there's like a million people that live in the town and you never get to ask anyone about it or see what happened or do anything to do with the quest whatsoever. Um, it's pretty bad. Sounds very yeah. It's really really boring. My explanation is better than the quest itself. It's one of the worst quests in the game. Wait, how am I damaging him right now? He has the suit on. Do you know about the deleted scene in Witcher Three where Geralt makes the anomaly? I do not know that. Oh, time to delay the video even more. Buckets, flares, chem lights, grid kits. Oh, look at all this shit. This is cool. Brown. Oh, what happened here then? You guys had a really good outpost going on over here. How are you all. Well, how are you so ill prepared for them coming into the facility if you had been fighting them for so much? Do you remember the side quest is entirely just a joke about the art? Yeah, I do, and that's also a very weird quest. Um, do you know that there's an invisible person that follows you around the whole time that you're in that tower? And the game will never let you ask about it and investigate? And that the main wizard guy that you talk to um, in that quest lies to you, and you also can never call him on it either? It's very strange. Ooh, it's a power crystal. Which quest again? Tower out of nowhere is what it's called. It's in the northernmost island in Skellige. Hottest take in the whole video is, um, in the whole series, actually, is that I don't think that most of the side content in Witcher 3 is very good. And so I talk about side content for a lot. I go through every quest. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I know this shit. However, for, before that, I have to spend about 20 minutes defining side content. <laughs> And then another 20 minutes categorizing it. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Uh, so depending on your definition of side content, um, I, I like if I adopted your definition, I might agree that Witcher 3 has very, very good side content. Basically, I make, I make a huge, huge distinction between side content that is like like actual side content, like you have to go out of your way to do it. And then side content, which is just like an optional extension on on the main story stuff. So if you consider like the end of the Bloody Baron quest line, which I won't say because it's spoilers or whatever, the end of the Bloody Baron quest line is technically optional. You don't have to do it. So is that side content or is it not? So by my definition, I say that it isn't. I don't, I say that it is not side content. Um, so if you think that it is, and all quests like that are, then okay, now I, I'll probably agree with you, Witcher 3 has really good side content. I don't think it is side content. I think it's just optional main content. I don't- I, I put a distinction between optional and side. 
And I use some examples from Deus Ex as well to, uh, to argue the point. I haven't played Cyberpunk, did they improve the side quests? Um, there are some okay side quests in, in Cyberpunk, but not really. Cyberpunk just needed a lot more time to flesh out some of that stuff. Oh, we need to find a crystal. What do you think of the DLC? Is that side content? Um, I mean, the DLC is technically side content, sure, I guess, if you want to look at it that way from drawing a distinction from the main quest. I don't look at it that way. I look at it as that, like, that's an additional, like, game within the game that you've bought that has its own main content and side content. So that's how I draw the distinction there. When you're in the DLC area, now you're looking at the, the, the main stuff for that place. Gross. Should they have just released Cyberpunk when it was ready? Um, maybe, maybe not though. Like, there is there is something to be said about, hey, eventually you just have to release something, you know? Not that I would know anything about that. All right, so now we turn the power on. The side quest, um, the side quest section is the longest section in the video by far, by far and away. Um, so much so that I keep going back and forth on making it a two-part section. I think the side quest section is, I think it's 90 minutes long. It might even be an hour and 40 minutes. And I was aiming for 45 to, to an hour long for each of the sections, and the Psycho section is, is very, very long. And it doesn't even cover um, the some of the story extensions either, like, um, like the one with Kira and stuff. It doesn't even cover those, it just covers the actual, what I consider the side, side content. Um, it, that's also where I bitch about the, uh, the hero's journey. Hero of a Thousand Faces. That's where I go into detail on that. How about a separate video for a second? Se separate video? What are you talking about? Separate video. Why limit yourself in length? It feels pretty arbitrary to do that. Oh, shit, I hit the, the gamepad again. No, it's not a limit in length when it comes to... I want to limit discussion topics. I'm talking about just, just sections. I like to have sections be around 45 to an hour long for people who just want to watch it in installments. You know, I think that's a pretty good length for... Okay, I'll watch the chapter. I'll watch the next chapter next time. Because I know some, some people do that. It's not that the discussion is being limited, as you can see, because, you know, one of the sections ended up being fucking three times longer. But... Uh, or two times longer. But... Um, that was sort of the goal when it comes to splitting the video into watchable chunks. Could you, if you can do so without spoiling the vid, explain your issue with the hero's journey? Um, hero's journey is just a really, really overly simple, simplified way of looking at storytelling that, that to me, do not disturb, very unstable. Alright, they weren't wrong. So explosive cocoons instead of barrels. Good thing they're red. Oh, was this the way? Uh, yeah. Anyway, the hero's journey is a is a very. Very, 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 very simple idea told in one of the most complex ways that you can imagine. Like, uh, I don't know if any of you have ever tried to read, emphasis on try to read um, Hero of the Thousand Faces. Um, the amount of bullshit justification, just like, like, just frankly, just fucking academic masturbation that goes on in that book to justify, hey, there are some story trends and some stories, I guess, um, is insane. Uh, and I say this in the video, and I compare I compare what uh, Campbell goes into with 
Vonnegut's story shapes. And if you've seen that lecture that Vonnegut has given, um, that is basically a, a very simplified version of what the hero's journey is trying to say. Um, and it and it is way more effective, way more applicable to a lot of stories, and also doesn't make the, you know, false claim of so many stories fit this mold. Now, to be fair, Sonic the Bulldog, Mr. Burns, Spit Squid, Buyer Crab, nice. To be fair to Joseph Campbell, um, he doesn't make the claim in the book that most stories follow this format. He's just trying to draw a lot of parallels between mythology and its people since then that have adopted this viewpoint and have put it on a lot of stories. Um, oh man, look at this thing. So it's more an argument of trying to piss off everyone instead of just, uh, just Campbell. So we have to go up here and do some jumping. He said it later. Oh, did he really say it later? Okay, fuck Campbell then. <laughs> I didn't know he said it later. Oh man, look at this. Did that just kill a dude? It's still an attempt at establishing a monomyth, which is absurd. Yeah, like, the book is at its most readable. I'm just basically just reading the script at this point. Uh, the, the book is at its most readable when he is just regurgitating myths that he knows, and a lot of the book just kind of starts to feel like... I read a bunch of myths, and goddammit, I have to justify the time, so here I'm going to describe them to you, and it's just kind of like... like The way that he thinks that a lot of these myths fit his... Um, his rule is, oh man, look at this, is just really forced and odd. And it's also really hard to argue against, too, because it's like, well, fuck, I don't know all these myths. Like, I'd have to spend, like, a month or, or two of doing absolutely nothing else other than reading all these myths to dispute this, you know? Like... Why how vague he is in some parts is really annoying because like if you're gonna if you're gonna be like look I know like you, you have to know or at least I do when I when I make videos even like that's why I ha try to have a lot of evidence in the videos for to support my point so even if you disagree with me then you can see where I'm coming from it's like okay you have to know that a lot of people aren't gonna know the shit that you're talking about so you need to be really specific so it doesn't look like you're trying to pass something off as like source dude just trust me and I feel like there's a lot of fucking source dude just trust me in the book. This is uh, Hero with a Thousand Faces, by the way. It's academic masturbation, you summed it up perfectly. Yeah, but I'm very anti-academic, so I try not to do that because I know that's one of my biases. But it's annoying because there are a lot of people, there might even be some people in chat. I haven't really been reading chat much while I've been going on this rant, so maybe there, are, there have been some people in chat that do this. But you'll find a lot of people online that will say that all, all good stories follow that format. All good stories follow the hero's journey, and it's just not fucking true. Some do. Like, it's, it's not, I'm not claiming that it's completely absent, but, you know, to say something like that is just, like, it's insulting to us as storytellers. Does this one? Absolutely. Absolutely it does. It kind of does. I do my own bullshit um, theorizing in the, in the script about it though, don't worry. Steinsgate follow the hero's journey. It doesn't, and it's bad. So maybe he, maybe he was right after all. Thank you, Steinsgate. Oh, I can only do three, um, three of these jumps in a row. I didn't realize that. That's what that bar is there. Oh, fucking hell. 
those things are really hard to see. Whoa, Charlie Shan? The way you describe the Vienna Sunscape makes it sound completely different from the anime. The anime is really good, I swear. Just kidding, I'm not, I'm not saying you're saying that. You could be, I guess, but I don't think so. I've heard the anime is better. Oh, he be tanky. The anime is weirdly paced, but wildly better than the VN. It was a very 1940s, 1950s thing to believe that there was a scientific way to measure everything. Sort of like psychohistory and the foundation was a way to condense human history to a math formula. Hero Strange strikes me as uh, being in that mold. Which is weird, because 1940s and 1950s is like is like fairly into like postmodern movement. So you would think that it kind of would have fallen out by then, but I guess not. Maybe that took longer to, to take root than I realized. You know, I think of that and I think of James Joyce in the early 1900s, you know, much earlier in 1940, 1950. But it's like, yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I kind of do that too. I'm a little guilty of that too. I know I can never be truly objective, but I try to be as objective as possible, if that makes sense. Can I email you a list of these I made on the hero's journey? My original thesis is in Ukrainian, so you won't get it. You can you can email me whatever you want. That goes for anybody. I don't know if I'll have time to read it, but that sounds interesting. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hori? Can I email you a little kiss with a Panzer or a pie? What, do I know anything about meta-modernism? Meta no, not really. I have heard the term a couple times. I'm not really keeping up to date on that. that that's again, I, I hate to be dismissive, but you know, that's, I also have to be honest. It's more academic masturbation to me, to be honest. He said honest twice, he's nervous. University draw. I did for a whole year. Lamayo got him. Do you think there's any value to academic masturbation? Or not? I think there is actually. Yeah. Why did you drop out? Because I have to get a job. I have, to, I have to move out and move out onto my own. Things with my parents did not go well when I was first starting university, so I only got to go for a year. Which honestly was probably for the best for me. But it sucked at the time. Not only did I go to university, I streamed it. <laughs> oh, who, who are you? What jobs did I do? Just, you know, just random jobs. Like, I worked at a fast food place for a little bit. Uh, I worked for a doctor for a bit. I worked at a warehouse for a bit. You know, things like that. I worked at a doctor's office for a little over a year. I worked at the warehouse for a couple of years. I didn't work in fast food for very long. 
Whoa. Have you read any Freud or Young? If not reading any of that would probably solidify why you don't like Campbell. I've read some of Young, not really much of Freud. I know that Campbell quoted them quite a bit in uh, in the book and it was all a bunch of bullshit. I make a joke about that in the video, about his claim that all, all dreams are sexual. All components of dreams are sexual apparently, so... So I make the joke about I have a recurring nightmare where I die in a car crash. So apparently, um, I think I think I'm gay and I want to fuck cars. So that's the joke I make in the screen. <laughs> I get pretty mad. What? Hey, Campbell said it, not me. Why is it- why is it gay? I think the quote was, all dreams are inherently bisexual, maybe. Maybe it wasn't just sexual, it was also bisexual. I can't remember the quote now. It was a- it was a fucking wild thing that he said. I have the book on my desk, I could flip through and find it actually, but um, I can't remember what page it is. Why are we back here again? Did we flip a switch on something and now we can get somewhere that we weren't there? Did I miss a jump? Because you went the wrong way. Oh, did I go the wrong way? My bad, sorry. Not paying attention. I thought I was paying attention. My attention is split because I'm talking to chat about something um, somewhat serious, but uh, I thought I thought I was paying enough attention to see where I was supposed to go. Do I have to go over there? I do like this level so far quite a bit. Aw, oh, come on. Can I kill you? Oh, I can! Oh, man. So how are you feeling about this part of the game? It looks generally quite cool. I think it looks cool too. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Visually, it's um, it's incredible, I think. So I don't know how it's going to be for in terms of gameplay. So far, I think it's pretty good. All right, so we went over here. So we jump over here. Okay. Crouch jump. All right, we did it. We jump over the alien maple leaves. And then we go up here. And then what, did I jump down there like an idiot? I have to keep going up here? Oh, the healing! Alright, healing. Absolutely cursed new, new pin in Dragon's Den for you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what, it's time for break, and we're at 100 out of 100. That's always how I like to take my breaks. So let me check the cursed pin, and then I will go for my, uh, go for my break. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, can't, thanks so much. Yep, yeah, all right, cool. Really cool, really cool. All right, holy shit. All right, see you later. Back in five minutes.
and we're back with more Black Mesa. But first, thank you, Top Lolly, for the resub. Thank you, Top Lolly. Still waiting to hear from you, by the way, about buying the rights to Joms. I guess they're priceless right now. Thank you, Senny, as well, for the resub. Thank you, Hey Oza, for the resub as well. Hopefully that's right. Hypothetical Walrus as well. And Bully Hunter 79, hot off the presses. Thank you for the resubs. Alright, this way, right? Did we not go down here? Yeah, we went down here. Alright, so we hit the thing to, to make the Maple Leaf show, and then we jumped over to it. Alright, and then what? Oh, did I jump down there? Is that what happens? Oh, okay. Don't like you guys. Holy, just cut our way through that. Come on. Alright, we have to hit the thing to open the leaves. We also need to find a crystal somewhere. It's not here. I think this has done a pretty good job of, at um, establishing rules without explicit directions so far. Okay, so is the crystal gonna be behind the maple leaves or oh shit? Yeah, there it is. No, it wasn't. Okay, my bad. Just looked like it from afar. Ah. Okay, what is the crystal going to do? I could just jump up there. Oh, it activates its teleporter. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, this was a fun little location. I like this. So, this de definitely feels more like a place I'm exploring rather than just like an alien themed bunch of platforms that are just set up for you to jump through at the end of Half-Life 1. This is pretty cool. I like this. I think one of the coolest bits about this version of Zen is that the creatures from Zen look like they came from here. Like the head crabs leap makes sense given the environment and the dogs push attack makes more sense with all the cliffs. Oh, that's a, a neat observation. Lamayo got him. All right, cool.
Also, we've already said those that the spit things are hard to see, almost like the Evolta camouflage. Here. Yeah, that's uh, it's frustrating for gameplay, but in terms of the world building, it's really cool. The um, the pokey finger things too uh, are really hard for me to tell when they're when they're around. Oh no, we got bucketed. Next level strats. Okay, going down there seems like something we could do. Alright, if I see one, I'm killing it, because otherwise I'm going to run up to it and get stabbed at one point. Oh, you can hear it's Hitchy Visu talking. Yeah, it's neat, isn't it? I noticed that earlier. Neat is the word I'm using to describe Zen, apparently. When all else fails, say neat. N-E-E-T. If you ask for that in a cocktail, it's just water. I missed something in a room back there. Whoa. Hey Joe, I watched your help point stream. Here's a question. What the hell was that? Yeah, that was a weird one, huh? The cursed help point stream, yep. Keep meaning to play that game again, by the way. It was it seemed decent to me. It was neat, yeah, it was neat. Yeah, it was really neat. It was a neat stream, yeah. Okay, so I don't understand what we did there. Okay, we have- to Oh, so there's like three paths we need to do to open- This is like a fucking Zelda dungeon. Blurst, you mean? Yeah, pretty blurst, yeah. Blurst and neat. Okay, what if I never fall down? Oh, that is, that is the way. My bad. Okay, to the left or to the right? I'm gonna guess to the right. Uh-oh. 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 Oh no! My nemesis! Panic! Panic! Like these enemies I feel like they add a lot to going through some of the rooms sometimes it can be annoying when you just get hit out of nowhere but 
I liked him quite a bit. No, that didn't work. Might have to kill them. What in the Dark Souls is this? Okay, you're dead, right? Okay, good. Oh no, we can't! Oh, come on. Okay, your deed. Oh, we could have used him to, to creep up here or sneak up here. I just thrown a grenade through the gap. Could I do that? Would that work? I think that would work. Someone tried it, doesn't work. Lame. But why? What kind of tall thing were you expecting to come at you here? Oh, shit. Okay, we can definitely just like... Okay, like back there won't get us. Quick save for no reason. Okay, yeah. Cool. Look at, look at this, the thing to the left blows up first. Look at this. Yeah, okay. an empath so I'm a bit of an empath who did this in an alien jungle no I'm gonna do back on my laser light bullshit I love doing it in that warehouse back in on earth yeah thank thank you head crab Forspoken playthrough went. Do we still want that? I thought. Hasn't hasn't that game come and passed now, or no? No, it hasn't. We do still want it. Do it. Can it be a one-off? No, we have to finish it. I finish all games I start. Oh shit. The devs folded the studio that made it. Really? Oh, man. Well, that, that kind of sucks. I don't want to celebrate that. Folded into the main suit. Oh, so it's not like they were all fired or anything. Okay, that's not so bad then. The game is only 12 hours of your mainline. Really? I thought it was like a big open world kind of kind of game. A spoiler. Is 
Tim Burton finger thing here. Can I? Can I get behind it and kill it with a crowbar? Whoa, why are you guys dangerous? Oh, it's because I shot one by accident. Uh-oh. Well, I'm sorry, amoebas. <laughs> Are they dangerous or is it just a head crab hit me? Maybe a head crab just hit me at the same time and I thought they were hitting me then. Just got here, what do you think is then? I like it so far, it's really cool been a standout in the playthrough because uh, the rest was just the remake of Half-Life 1 which we just recently played so it was interesting to see that but um, this is like feels wholly new so it's really cool I like it a lot I have sent you my terms thank you top lolly I'll check them out after the stream that these look like they're gonna come to life and try to kill me when I come back through here later Double jump past it. On the other side. Oh, god damn it. Fucked it up. Fucked it up. Top lolly pit. Yeah, I just I just read the message out loud. Yeah, I know about it. Is the game sound really high or something? Or is it just someone didn't hear me? If I can turn the game down. This is not the way. Sorry, that is the way. This is the, uh, the secret. Something, something, one guy, something. This is probably loud. What are your thoughts about Silent Hill 2 Remake? Oh man, I get to do my favorite joke again. This is what, number the fifth time? I'm just really excited for uh, fans of Silent Hill 2 to finally feel the way about the remake that I do about the original. La my yo got him. Cannot wait. Oh, it's a big one. That's cool. Oh, you can't shoot him from the back. Huh. You have to shoot them in their cute faces. Bold choice. Are you going to play the Metroid Prime Remaster, do you think? Probably eventually, yeah. Can't believe it's only the first game and not all three as a package deal. What the fuck, Nintendo? Finn showed some interest in it, so maybe I'll get to it at some point. Uh oh. Right now he's still into Minecraft games, though. For his birthday, which is in August, he really wants Dragon Quest Builders 2. I never got Metroid Prime, was never fun as the 2D games. See, I'm the opposite. I, I think the Primes are better than the 2D games. But I didn't play Fusion and the like, so maybe I would like those more. 
I don't really like Super Metroid all that much, and I played it at release too. I rented that for a weekend when I was a kid, and I didn't like it. So it's not a like, uh, oh, I played it way after it came out kind of thing. Didn't really care for Super Metroid. I played the whole thing since, like I played the whole thing for the Hollow Knight video, um, and I also did not like it all that much. It got a little better as it went along. There's a demo of Dragon Quest Builders 2 with first time. Yeah, he's already played that, yeah. So, the kids, um, for whatever reason, I don't know if maybe they were they were on each other's friend list before, or they were able to just play without being on their friends lists, but for whatever reason, they couldn't do Minecraft multiplayer for a while again, and I couldn't figure out why. And then I, and then I was like, oh, there's no friends list thing, so I was like, okay, maybe that's the, that, that's the answer. So, I go on their switches, and I do the friends list add, adding thing, and the message pops up, and it says to me, uh, friend request sent. It may be a while before the the friend receives the request, and I'm like, okay, that's usually what they say when it's gonna take like I don't know, like it's supposed to be instantaneous, but it might be like a minute or two. It took 22 hours, 22 hours for the friend request to go through. What the fuck, Nintendo? Is that intentional? What the fuck are they doing? You gotta understand, they still use fax machines in Japan. That's nice. Fax machine comes through. Brr, 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 brr. Mr. Miyamoto, Finn and Leo want to be friends on their switches. My god. I guess that's, that's probably okay. Send the request through. Alright, I'm writing up the fax right now. Brr, 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 brr. Okay, so this is the way. This feels like something we should be able to carry over. Oh man, alien pipes made of gold. It's cute. And by cute, I mean majestic and just said cute for some reason. Oh no! Oh, what the? I thought you were dead. Is this meant to be looking like this? This looks weird. I often remember when you said Samus is the air mobility of our pregnant cow. Because it's true, right? It's true. The weirdest jump in all of gaming. Probably the weirdest jump Nintendo ever did. Which is after, and I realize this is going to be a molten hot take. But I hope some people agree with it, okay? Molten hot take coming at you, okay? The jump. The jump in the original Mario Brothers 1. It's a little fucking bad. All right? Mario Brothers 3 Super Mario World has way better jumps. NES Mario 1, that jump, it's kind of shit. Actually bad, do you think so? It's kind of a shit jump. Coldest thing, yet there's some people who are really mad about it in chat. Remember that time uh, Nintendo released an open world action combat game and uh, you weren't allowed to dodge unless you were locked onto an enemy? It was a good, good time, good time. Can't wait for that to not be fixed in uh, Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom. It's gonna be exactly the fucking same. Exactly the fucking same. Did you try out your AeroPress coffee maker? I didn't actually. I've just been doing the French press. Or drinking the, fr the French press. I should do it though. Whoa, what's going on over there?
The Vortigaunts in this game have better dodging variety than Breath of the Wild Link. Uh, just Zen in this game also has more enemy variety than all of Breath of the Wild. Oh man, that's true. Oof. 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 Can't wait for Tears of the Kingdom to add like one minor faction to the enemy pool and that's it. And a couple of variations on the other enemies. Can't wait to count out your coin. Is this the way? It's gotta be, right? Can't remember if you ever acknowledge this, but do you still get hate over your Breath of the Wild video takes? Surprisingly, no. Um, the hate backlash to that was quite short-lived. The weirdest take um, and I don't want to say who said it because I don't want to start beef. Was a fairly prominent person in the in the gaming journalist industry um, said that in my video I was asking for Breath of the Wild to have, and I quote, "Bloodborne combat," end quote. And I remember hearing that and going, "All right, don't remember saying that, but okay." <laughs> Uh, but shortly after that, uh, shortly after the video was released, um, yeah, not really much backlash at all. Still get some shit for the Mario Odyssey, still get some shit for Subnautica. Um, Silent Hill 2 is the stream that just keeps on giving for some people. What the hell was that? Oh, we're sinking! Why are we sinking? Oh, it's like a reverse barnacle. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're not dead. All right, we did it. Oh, that's cool. It's a water barnacle. I like that. Man, they put a lot of effort into this, didn't they? God damn. God damn. Look at this! Oh. Oh. Do double jump. I actually started watching you seriously because I completely agree with you completely at the time on uh, on Breath of the Wild. I was curious about the Divine Beast back then. I was pissed, to be honest. I wanted to find a dungeon so bad and the shrines were a cold comfort. Yeah, it like... <clears throat> if you... If you added dungeons to Breath of the Wild when it came out, and it's not... If, if Tears of the Kingdom has dungeons, it's going to be great. Don't get me wrong, but... It's not gonna have the same wow factor that it would have had if there were dungeons in Breath of the Wild. If you had had dungeons, proper dungeons in Breath of the Wild, like just like five of them, you know, it doesn't have to be the full Zelda spread of like nine or to ten dungeons. Like five of them would have been would have been enough. Five five decently sized dungeons, you'd be close to a perfect game. IMO, you it would you'd still have to clean up some of the combat, some of the flurry rush bullshit, the McFlurry rush. Um, add some more enemy variety but that would hopefully come with the dungeons and you are pretty close to like a perfect game like like I love the great parts of Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild and Elden Ring are very similar in some ways in that the parts where you're playing it and and it's you're hitting stride with it and the good parts are hitting real well like it's phenomenal phenomenal and it's just a shame that it lets you down in the parts that you're expecting it to uh, to deliver on and it just doesn't what the fuck is all this shit? 
flare, sorry. Recognize this place? Um, not really, actually. Is that the place where we were at the, some, close to the, uh, close to the beginning of the Zen section in Half-Life 1? Why flares? Oh, the flares are telling me that it's here. Okay, I thought it was, I thought it was a package of flares. I'm like, okay, thank you for sending flares. Thank you, Mimu, or Meme W, for the resub, and thank you, Flying Hippos, for the resub as well. Hopefully, you're still here. Those came in after I said was done saying thank you last time. I think this is art direction versus graphics. Well, yeah, it's pretty good, huh? I'm really impressed by the section so far. My first Zelda was Wind Waker, so Breath of the Wild was returned to form for me. Lol. Yeah, they're both pretty shit and boring, huh? <laughs> Wind Waker does have a whole load of fucking nothing in its world, right? <laughs> I think one day, uh, or well, one day, one, uh, in somewhat, somewhere, one year in the future, I just can't talk today. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be next year. Uh, I would like to play all the Zelda games on stream. Not in a row. But, um, oh, now we can shoot. I would like to play them all again, because I can't remember some of them anymore. And I've never played Skyward Sword, so that might be a fun stream. Okay, let me through, let me through, let me through, and I won't kill you. Let me through, and I won't kill you, let me through. All right, you can only grab me at the top, right? So we're good, oh, no, 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 okay, all right, cool. Really? Yeah, I've never watched. I've never watched. I've never. Um, I've never played uh, Skyward Sword. We have it. I bought it. The overpriced remake for uh, or remaster for the Switch. Uh, but I never bought it on on Wii. So that was the first time I had bought it. So it was a little easier to pull to swallow. Um, but I bought it because uh, I wanted to be able to play it at some point to fill the gap in my knowledge. Skyward Sword is bad. Yeah, I hear people say that, but I also hear that it has good dungeons. Or good good dungeon design. Alright, this is really annoying. I'm gonna have to kill the, the fish. If you're really bored, try playing all the Tomb Raider games. I really didn't like the Tomb Raider games on PlayStation. I feel bad about buying that game though. It's so overpriced. I know I shouldn't feel bad. Like I don't always get games for my own enjoyment. So I'm not just a consumer anymore, but man, it felt bad to do that. All right, what are we doing? What if we like throw a grenade down there? That'll, that'll kill him for sure, right? Nice. It killed one. You should always always feel bad about giving money to Nintendo. Yeah, is it like hating on Anu? It's always morally correct. <laughs> well, well, you think I haven't seen that? All right, this is tricky. Oh no, I was focused on the ones in the water. Oh, nice one. Oh, they really got me there. I was so focused on those, I didn't see those. Oh, nice. All right, let's go. Shit. All right, take me up, take me up. All right, we're good. Did you play Metroid Dread? I did not. We have it though. Finn's played a little bit of it, and I think it's beyond him still at the moment. But he hasn't tried in, um, I think, a year. It's been a year since we got that. He played it a little bit and got stuck. I think he he wouldn't admit it, but I also think he was a little spooked out by it. 
It's not that scary of a game, but just a little spooky. is why Joe hates Wind Waker. I don't think I hate Wind Waker, just uh, in my memory it, um, it was filled with a lot of nothing and I'm one of those people that doesn't forget about the Triforce hunt, so... Okay, the music is not fitting the fact that I'm slaughtering these little dogs right now, but I do like the music. No, what? What? <sighs> Thank you, Dark Souls. Oh, is that not even where we're supposed to go? No, this is where we came from. Surely. Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, it's just, it's a secret. Partial to this kind of like astral scenery kind of thing. Thanks. Like the Ragnarok. Yeah. Oh, I thought of that earlier when I first got here. Among other things. Oh, we can go down here. Oh, okay. It was this it was this way all along.
You friendly? Nope. Oh, oh man. Is there still as much zen to go for this than when you get here in the normal game? This is very much like Half-Life 1 right now. Stream. We're doing it in one stream. I don't care if I have to sit here until midnight. We're doing it in one stream. I am not playing Black Mesa tomorrow. Stream. So keep missing this jump. He says after missing it once. Oh, okay. Second try. Second try. What if we need it for later? Greetings, Eli. What the fuck is this? They're taking over the human computer? This is weird. It's combine stuff. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, that's what combine means. It's when you combine biotech with like like metal tech, silicon tech. Ah. Is it boss time? Yeah, this has to be combine shit. Oh, we're missing a crystal. That was the problem. Mm hmm, yes. I see what the problem is here. Let, let me fix this real quick. Alright, that didn't do shit. Also didn't do shit. Alright, maybe it did do shit. Alright, hold on. What, what, what does it do? What did that do? That opens... Open nothing. Alright, that opened something. That did something. Uh oh. Okay, it did nothing. Alright, what about this one? Two. Alright, it liked that. It liked that. Alright, open this door. Alright, what is the what does the third one do? Does it open that and we get some goodies? All right then, keep your secrets. Oh, okay. All right, we fixed, we fixed portal laser number one. Now we need to do two more, it's done.
Do you have any interest in checking out Scorn? Not the greatest gameplay game in the world, but I think it's unparalleled unparalleled in art direction. Uh, not on the docket, but if enough people ask me to, I'd do it. That's what's happening with Signalis, Hi-Fi Rush, and, and uh, Pizza Tower, right? So, look kind of gross and like in an interesting way, but but gross for sure. All right, this is not the way. I thought it was, but it's not. Are those barnacles? No. All right, we just go. I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. I didn't get it now. That was a risky quick save. I can't use, uh, I can't use my thing after I fall? Right, I can't dash through this, can I? Alright. Let's go around. We're gonna go the long way. Calculated. Wait, hold on. Hold the phone. Oh. Wait, that is something up there, isn't it? Oh, I'm coming. It's where I came. Uh, didn't I come from this one? Oh no, I didn't. Okay, no man. So where does this one go? Oh, okay. Well, I think that's a fair thing to get confused by. All right, where are we going? Shoot him so bad. Oh, I want to shoot him so bad. Monkey neuron is being activated. Hmm. Hmm. 
This one we can shoot. This one we can shoot. I'm a genius! Now a fun one. Like the puzzle. Yeah, it was pretty good. So far, I'm really impressed by this. I'm really enjoying this. All right, do I have to go and activate some button thing here with the with this thing? Yeah, here we go. It really is a big boy game. Oh, nice reference. Nice callback, chatter. Thank you, Shower Pisser 007, for the <laughs> for the new sub. For England, James. Thank you, Kremac, as well, for the resub that just came in. Thank you, Kremac. Okay, am I supposed to kill these? I'm not sure. You know what? We haven't used the rocket launcher in a while, and I'm sure we're gonna get ammo for it. Nice. Definitely worth. Oh man, we didn't take damage for so long. Still 100 out of 100. This is familiar. Come on! Come on! Yes! No! Skipped. Okay. This time we just press a button. I'm confused. Okay. Oh, there's an even a longer one. This time, because it's longer, they're gonna like it more. No. OK. 
Okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I need to find somewhere to activate a button thing. These ones are gone, gone, dead forever. Did I miss a button thing somewhere? What if I use the long ones on those? Why would that make a difference? I don't know, but... Yeah, it didn't make a difference, so it just opens the door. Is there something down here? Oh, I missed the whole ass room, okay. That would be why, okay. Working with incomplete information. Please make a manual save now. I got soft locked on this. It's bug. Okay, I will do so. Done. Thank you, Chatter. It'll, it'll, it'll fit. It'll fit. Okay, so the arrows is telling me that the power flows from left to right. They say that the, the Nile used to flow from east to west. Alright, so there we go. Done. Black hole chan? I mean, that looks safe, right? We can definitely go in there and teleport. It's a teleport, right? to teleport oh no it didn't work do it again Freeman you fool Back on Earth. Welcome to Nevada. Shit. Oh, we close it. I smell a boss fight. 
Is it spider time? Oh, it's totally spider time. Oh, look at that. Hot damn. More of the spider. What if just inexplicably there was just a squad of commandos here right now? It's Freeman, we found him! supposed to be doing it. Hit a twist is there isn't a boss no boss I like the music here there's a lot of tension yeah no boss for sure Whoa! Oh, nice intro. The ball sack stayed in. Respect. it can do did the time at the last minute huh We have to chain them. Oh, come on, he was even looking at me.
wonder if there's iframes on the air uh, It's Full Heal Island. Oh, nice. I love Full Heal Island. Did they have the part where you could Gronark Slayer? Did they keep in the part where you can drop down the pit and get a full heal? Uh oh. No look grenade. No, it's not dead. No way. Gronach and Stray, Gronach and Stray. Oh, so they made it a level instead. All right, that's interesting. Sorry, did I wake you up? Zen in this feels like an entirely new game, huh? Yeah, it really does. I like it a lot. I'm really digging it. It's turning into the highlight of the playthrough for me. Which dying? Is it? Whoa, what? Twitch is dying a bit. It's been pretty good lately.
can't break through this, can I? Or you try. Oh, there's a gas thing there. There she is. Okay, I can't get through there without taking damage. Can I, can I shoot it again to turn it off? No. What if I just like double jump through it? Okay, not questioning it. Through the fire and the flames. Okay, gonna do some cheesy hits and come back. What the f This doesn't feel like a part where you can kill the boss, so I'm guessing the boss doesn't take damage from this section. My gamer sense is tingling. Schlop, 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 schlop. Uh oh. Uh oh. When you do fight the boss, there's an achievement for finishing it off with a crowbar hit. Is it achievement? Is it called for Birger? Speakers? Do 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 do. Thank you, Swaga Mansa, for the resub. Interesting name and. Am Amg Brock for the resub as well. Came in at the same time. Coordinated. <sighs> Getting a bit tired, chat. I hope we're over halfway done through Zen. I'm really regretting not getting that uh, air purifier thing that someone looked at me right now because holy shit dogs. Would this work? The panel's not like hooked up to like some inner machinery, like it, it's, it's just this. Oh, it's hooked up to that thing. Alright. Right, 
Raggy. The HTV zombies are so are, are so neat. I'm glad I'm not the only one who's enjoying it. There was some negativity around this section in chat before we got here. Um, maybe it's not a good thing to do on replay. Like people who want to replay Half-Life One, like we'll go back and play Half-Life One instead because this really pads out the runtime. But I like this so far. I'm not sure if I would like to play it again. <sighs> I knew there was something back here. What about this? Is this do a secret? No. Just enjoy the content, man. I am, I am enjoying it. But I'm happy when Chad is along for the ride. As a streamer, my enjoyment is still primary because I'm an asshole, but like I still want, you know, Chad to have a good time too. Although, Chad having a good time at my expense is also good. Content, gotta get the content, content curator. Content creator. Content cannot be created nor destroyed. Only uh, changed into a different form. From wholesome to cringe. The different forms of content. Alright, what's this here for? This seems familiar. Where's the uh, where's the plunder? All right, I see the I see the explosions. Explosive C4. It's under here. No, they didn't finish setting it up. Do I just kill the boss? Oh, well, nope, someone blew up. Oh, it was there! Oh, okay. Oh no! You're dead, right? Yeah, you're dead. Alright. Oots, 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 oots. Alright, where are you? Okay, now we're on the other side. We're Adele. All right. I don't remember doing that part with the blue lights. I remember being on that side. I don't remember seeing the blue lights. Let's just ignore them. Music, please, just a smidge louder. There is no music. I can turn the silence up if you want. I 
I was one year old when the OG Half-Life 1 came out and have only really experienced it through Black Mesa. Thank you for choosing to wake up today, join the stream, type that out, and press enter, and have me read it. Thank you so much for choosing to do that today. All right, now what? Now what? Ah, oh, another another plunger thing. That's what they're called, right? Detonator. I think it's on the band zoomers, true colors. So it'd just be me and you. Yes, exactly. Missed the beat there. The chat response would have been like, no, I'm a zoomer too. I'm 30 Joe. Hi 30 Joe, I'm regular Joe. 22 in the zoomer. How old are you? If you were one year old when this game came out. When did the when did Half-Life 1 come out again? Half-Life 1. 1998. Oh man. Holy crap. One year old when it came out and be turning 2026 20, this year? 25? Why? Why is e evil water? What the hell's that? Oh no! We overshot! Oh, we're dead for sure. How old is Joe? I'm 37. I'll tell you, man, staring down the barrel of 40. Staring down the barrel. Feels alright, actually. Okay, we can jump on those, right? Come on! Come on! Fucking Koopa shells just instant- Come on! Oh, this is the way! Oh, I'm so surprised. Huh. Well, it's a big area. What if an even bigger one shows up and kills this one, and then we have to beat way, way bigger jaws? You're as old as Germa, huh? Why is everyone so Germa brained? Yes, I am, though. Huh. 
Huh, you're 37. Big Germa vibes. I know one other person who's 37 on the internet. It's Germa. Getting some big Germa vibes from this age from the streamer. Oh crap. Is it gonna explode? Looks like it. No? Oh, we just hit, okay. I know a 37 year old guy, he's my fiance. You're you're engaged to Germa? Holy shit. Gearing up for the final con confrontation. Here we go. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Quick preview on your thoughts of Thronebreaker. I thought it was a hidden gem. I'm sad we won't get more games like it from CD Red. Uh, I thought it was it was good. It was good. Uh, it dragged on a little too long. I thought that it had too many battles with the cards and not enough puzzles with the cards. I really enjoyed the puzzle battles with the cards. I would have liked more of those and less long protracted battles with the cards. Thronebreaker is the standalone Gwent game, by the way. Oh, crap. Oh, we did it. All right. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. No. I thought I had really good choices in it. Surprisingly so, actually. Oh, crap. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is flammable. Uh-oh. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. Go, 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 go. Chaos. Chaos. All right. Is, is it burning away? Alright, we did it. Alright, we're, we're stuck in here. Alright, we have to fight? Oh, this way. Shout out to Joel Nielsen, I agree. Shout out to Joel Nielsen. No idea who that is, but shout him out. My real name was Joel. That would be unacceptable, right? Like, yeah, my real my real name is Joel, and I I chose to be Joe instead. They'll never suspect a thing. Shit! 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 I really 
thought we were gearing up to fight the boss, and so this is just, it just keeps going. What do you think of chasing before? I thought it was pretty good. I'm quite taken by this section, I'm enjoying it. But I also really like the the um, the long jump mechanic, and having it be a double jump is uh, probably better than how it functioned in Half Life One. Although in Half Life One, it was you could get used to it, it was fun. I like the added movement ability. I just really wish that uh, that Trolley Chan was here. That's all. Which is not the same without her. Water puzzle. Uh oh. Alright, we're good. We are good. What's over there? That looks like a oh, it's not a thing. Man, if they extended all of this, are they gonna ex extend like the factory workshop area toward the end too? Because that place sucked. What if they just took that out? That would be good, right? They just took that out. I'd be happy with that. Oh my god, that's a lot of head crabs. Thank you, Dookie Moto, for the resub as well, while we have it paused. Dookie Moto. Oh, another one just came in. Ant Eaters Anonymous. They're all angry. Angry Ant Eaters Anonymous. Thank you very much for the new sub. Welcome. I love your name. What are the head crabs jumping on in this world? What has the heads, human sized heads here? Plot hole. Oh, we could have done that instead of killing all of the, the head crabs with grenades. Okay, this just takes us back down to where we were before, right? Vortigaun? I don't think I think the Vortigaun's heads are too big for that. Yeah, I was right. We're just back down here again now. All right. So what is what does this do? Do I have to extend the water again? Oh wait, is this a different area? I don't even know anymore. Let's let's go over here and find out. Oh, it is a different area. All right, cool. All right, just blind luck our way through. Do 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 do. Not today.
Uh-oh. I don't understand how th was the water being held down by the web? What is the strength of this web? Let's build space elevators out of it. The rocks right yeah, maybe there's some rocks underneath, I don't know. But holding back that amount of water, like holy shit. We doing dogs. What's your problem? What's the matter? Gatsby's new fun thing is to come over and stick his whole entire wet ass nose into my right ear. Yeah. Can't get me in here. Ha, 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 yeah, run away, run away. How tall is this dog? Um, he's pretty fucking big. He's 120 pounds, 125 pounds, when we last went to the vet. Sitting down, like right now if he came over, I think his head is above mine. Actually, are you? No way. Gatsby, come here. Come here. Come here. No. He's not above mine. He's like, The top of his head is like... at my mouth. But I'm, I'm leaning back in the chair. If I sit up, if I sit up straight, like not, like no, he's nowhere, he's nowhere near. Oh, we're, we're dead. What breed is he? He is half husky and half German Shepherd. But even if he was just just a German Shepherd, he'd be huge. So he is just a, a mutant, huge, giant dog. Okay, this, this room is awkward as hell, like with chasing the fire that somehow is not damaging you and is... I don't like this room. Nice. Sherma Shepherd. Oh, get, get another interest. Get another interest. Find another streamer. Aren't you scared of having this this dog, uh, having a dog this big around the children? Yes, uh, which is why he's almost always in the basement with me. And if I'm asleep there, uh, he has a crate upstairs. Which is the the nice way of saying a cage, but everyone who has a dog calls it a crate. Dogs usually like being in their crates, and these two are no exception. They find them very safe. Oh, it's boss time. Ooh, the music. Do you know it's Gronar singing this? No 
on the ball. Oh man. What is going on? Do your dogs shed a lot? Um, not as much as you would think, but yeah, they're, they're shedding. What are these animations, man? It's just on you and then just boom, dealing damage. Come on. Can I duck those? Would you rather have a cat or a small dog? I'd rather have a cat than a small dog. Small, small dogs are not dogs. Actually, I don't know, that's mean. Depends on the dog. Small dog could be cool. Lily's dog is a small dog. And I hate her. I hate her so much. I hate that dog. Okay, it's not going well. It's not going well. Did it just send out its babies as like, like a missile flack? Okay. I'm regretting my quick save. He says as he loads, instead of saving. Alright, that's a fun quick save. Wait, what the f Threw something at me? Oh, we're going down.
oh, oh. Okay, does non-exclusive damage even do damage? Yeah, th this this is a good good bet. Let's try the grenade boss. Oh god damn it! All right, so like this boss fight is visually kind of cool, and I like this change down here with the boss like being visibly damaged now and crawling along. But in terms of like reading like what's coming at you, like I don't know, maybe I'm just playing it badly. This is just kind of not not feeling that part of it. I don't know. Fucking hell. Out of explosives now. <sighs> the little crabs can kill me right now. Hmm. I have to reload an earlier save. She's stuck. No health in the capsule. There might be. I ran over it a couple times. Be really close to it, maybe. Oh, there is. Okay, that's cool. Some rockets too. I thought I exhausted that one already. Was it new when it fell down? So just to confirm, it is like a couple shots. Oh yeah, easy, okay. For Birger! Yes! Birger honored. We honored the Birger. That was okay. Some really good parts of that fight, some frustrating parts of that fight. 
I just like the uh, the quick save, quick loading kind of thing to get through it. But yeah, I'm playing on hard. Whatever. Let's keep going. You got the Chivo. Uh, if I did, it didn't show up on my screen. Not every game has achievements pop up when I'm playing for some reason. Thank you, Northstar104 for the resub. That was before we started the boss, I think. Thank you, Northstar. Oh no. That was a very human sounding voice. That was a very human looking building. Interloper. What, what, the, what the fuck is this? Clay factory. What? Oh, that's different. Aha! Now what? If it bleeds. Joe, are you bald or balding as you seek? I am not bald. I have a lot of hair right now. I've thinned out a bit, but um, my hair thinned out a long time ago, like in my 20s, and it just kind of stayed at that level. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I probably will be bald eventually, I think. No, that's not it. I think they carved a lot out of the base game to make room for Zen, New Zen's length. If, if that were the reason, do you think the cuts were justified or necessary? Um, I don't really feel like there was anything carved out of the base game. Was there? Or was there a section that I'm that is gone? I didn't notice. If that was the case, I would say that they shouldn't have done that. They should try to more recreate the whole game instead. That's cute. Make sure you take them down at night though. You don't want wind chimes uh, out at night. It's just rude. Fired and single shot, and you're still not dead? What the fuck? Getting some brittle hollow vibes right now. Alright, what'd that do? Turns a little, no, it doesn't turn around. What does it do? No, this probably. <sighs> Fuck. Oh well. Oh, 
All right, what are we doing? Getting some big Abe's Odyssey vibes right now. But you're still hungry. Greetings, Weebs. How's it going? I'm the free man. Witcher? Friendly NPC, I kill friendly NPCs. After all the humans I've killed, I'd be racist not to. What the hell? You guys are eating head crabs? Okay, this is this is insane level design. Really? This is deranged level design. All right. Okay, cool. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Holy shit! This is this is hunt down the Freeman tier uh, level design right now. All right, we did it. Oh, they, they stole uh, a capsule. Oh no! How? 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 See, I should have killed them. Should have killed them. Gone. All right. Right. They attacked me. Why? I'm defending myself. Who knows when more of those aliens might come back and make them attack me? They were mind controlled, so screaming by me!
chat, you know they're not real, right? Chat, just because your waifus are real doesn't mean all fictional characters and entities are real, okay? Alright, it's fine to say that you're your waifu. We'll work on that one later. Probably. Prove it. Um, I weeb, therefore I am. There you go. Said, I'm a weed. Rip Nanako. Rip Nanako 2. Rip Mizuki. Shaving or not? <laughs> Turns out fruit can't expire. Have you ever played Superland? I have played Superman. Super, Superland. Uh, I think I played it for one session about two hours and I enjoyed it. Uh, I wanted to get back to it and potentially make a video on it one day, but uh, who knows? Too soon to say. I don't have much time to play games anymore, which is one of the reasons why I enjoy streaming so much because I get to play games, but it's also work. I feel very fortunate about that, and I try to remind myself about that fact if streaming ever gets stressful. It's very, very... Oh shit, um... Fortunate job. I talk with you, right? Yeah, I, I really enjoy the interaction. More chase sequences. Loves chase sequences. Oh, man. Uh oh, uh oh. Didn't jump fast enough. Barnacles around here for fun. I 
I like this though, it's good use of the double jump ability they gave you because you have higher, better speed and more movement options. Although those uh, jump pads are kind of jank for how they're moving you around. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What the f Okay. That's not good. Oh, we go up. It go up. All right. Joe stumped. Plus two. many are there? Yeah, Dude, we... Nice. Thank you, phone. interesting looking man who made it here Adrian Adrian we did it time the explosive things are green and they regrow they regrow any second now they regrow they don't they don't regrow all right never mind gamer sense sucks Not letting me in, huh? Smart. Well, enjoy this at the end of your work shift. <laughs> Alright, where are we going now? You look very guilty, dog. What were you just doing? Alright. Very human looking vent over there. I think I think a grenade will work here, as long as we cook it. Okay, I've never been more wrong. I've never been more wrong. looking getting some subnautica vibes from some of this actually
I'm getting some floating alien baby head vibes from this room. I know what room this is supposed to be. Oh, damn, they really changed this room. Okay, so we need to find some power cables. Now it goes up to level two. Interesting. They love this puzzle. They love this puzzle. It's their favorite puzzle. Break, I don't think we have time for a break. We have to we have to finish the game. We have to get this done. The clown. The clown's angry. Just when you thought the puzzle was over. There's no way I can get all the way down there with this, is there? Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It wasn't me. Oh, sh- What? Can I get on it now? Oh, okay. What are these things? Hit it? I hit it. No? Really? I, I jump up and just grab it. No. I would I would like a barrel. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Right, is that where it was meant to go? 
Oh, 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 okay, okay. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh, this doesn't look right. <laughs> how do I, how do I get through there? Oh, I go up. What the hell were they thinking? Just stumbling my way through this right now, you know? <laughs> Why is there fire? Alright. What? And? What does this do? I need to get that one, don't I? How do I get that one? Will we jump over here? Oh, what about that one up there then? Oh, we go the long way. This is, this is insane. Actually insane. Crazy level design. Fucking rubble. Okay, now what? These look dangerous right now. They look like they're gonna kill me. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oh, there's a thing I have to shoot there. Okay. All right, done. Done. It doesn't make sense. Looks cool. Yeah, I'm not necessarily saying it's bad. Like, like we got through it fairly quickly, so. Some part of it must have been intuitive, I guess, but that was, uh, the logic there was, in the path was odd, to say the, uh, the least. I don't hate it, very alien if it's, yeah, that's, that's I think that's why I like it too, is, oh, that doesn't look right. What the fuck? Because it's so alien, it, it kind of, kind of works. But at the same time, it was very strange. Joe's getting a lot to hurt. What do you mean? Why are you putting that evil on me? I feel like I'm being reasonable. I just praised it. Ooh, new tech. Where is the bloated? Down here for sure. It's down here for sure. Yes! Um. Oh, it, the vent after blast oh, okay. I thought about hitting it too. Alright, where are we going now? Here? Do, 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 do. Thank you, Quirrell, for the resub. I feel like I recently said your name. Thank you, Quirrell. Don't 
That looks interesting. What's that? I want to see that. Quill. It go down. these little care packages. So they're tracking me from, from Earth? I hope they saw me kill all the Vortigaunts. Then. I want them to know I'm asserting my dominance over here. to paint their figurines. Look at that. Green Zweebs, what are we doing? You ever seen the movie A Bug's Life? I think it's relevant to your interests. Alright, what do we do? Here and jump over the pipe. Get onto the pipe. Swim down underneath something? No? Alright, missing something for sure. Missing something for sure. I did not take a break, no, not yet. We still might have to take one, I don't know, we'll see. Okay. What if I shoot that? Nope. What if I shoot the Vortigaunts? Oh, what if I just go up here? I didn't see this path before. Ooh. All right, more, please. Let's go. I'm your leader. I'm the free man. Can I pick one of you up? Oh, nice. All right. Monster energy. Finally. Fucking relief. Thank you, Jay Hearth, for the resub, and thank you, Rabbit of Doom, for the resub as well. are alive. So this is what they're they're growing these dudes here or they healed them up after I killed them or, or what? Alright, let's 
Please be patient. It works. Now they're just trolling with these teleports. Nice, we came over here for for a crumb of ammo. Just a crumb of wood. <sighs> what are we gonna play tomorrow? Celeste. Hi-Fi Rush? If we if we play Hi-Fi Rush, we're delaying Deadly Premonition. Unless we just stream over the weekend. And I don't know if I have that in me, because I'm still feeling a little uh, under the weather. Lost Coast. And what are we going to do for the, for the rest of the 3 hours and 50 minutes of the stream? Sound effect. Hitman roguelike mode for a one-off, really? I thought that'd be something we'd settle into and do for like a week. I think learning the maps there is really important. Okay, I can grab this. Just run in and grab it. Go. Yes. Yes. All right. Shh. Didn't work like I thought I was going to. What is this for? Oh, there's a there's a vent. You know what? It's good. This isn't gonna be it. It's gonna be something like throw it somewhere. No, no, it's not. This, this is it. I, I feel like we've broken it. There we go. Would you do a reaction stream to your Witcher videos before the release of the third? Maybe. That sounds like it could be fun. But super long, that would be, that might even be two streams. That, that'd be very, very, very long. Even to watch them without any pauses for commentary would be really long. Teleport. Oh, I made this drop out. Alright, now, excuse me. I don't know why, it, just now it kind of felt like I was in the Citadel.
What if we do a Twin Peaks watch party tomorrow to test how anime watch alongs would go in the future and also survive for Deadly Premonition? Can I do that? Can I do that legally or would I have to do a, a blank screen? Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Blank screen. I don't know if I have time to set that up for tomorrow on on this notice. Is Twin Peaks on any streaming platform? Is it on Netflix? We have to set up as a blank screen. I have to get get the fucking thing we're watching. I don't just have Twin Peaks. Got him, finally. All right, that's all of them, right? All right, where's the thing I usually have to shoot? I feel like I'm staring right at it. Surprisingly, no, okay. HBO Max? I don't have HBO Max. All I have is Netflix. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I have Amazon. If it's on Amazon, I have that. I just fucking fall down and hang a left. Alright, there we go. Gotta be connected to the one that we just released, right? Where is it? Blind, maybe. Can I shoot these guys? Oh crap. Come on there. Oh, what the? F Okay, that is where we have to get to afterwards. That one's moving up and down. Oh, it's up there. There we go. I didn't see the ledge.
Okay, it's not flammable. Why are you giving me an explosive barrel? Have you ever watched Twin Peaks? I have not ever watched Twin Peaks. I was told I don't have to. To enjoy Deadly Premonition. Okay, will that break with it? Oh, it did. Oh, okay. Will it be significantly better if I do, though? like the, the trolley section of the beginning except you're in control of it that was cool what should joe play 27 percent 27 percent exactly the same celeste and hi-fi rush all right cool what was the other one pizza tower who wants me to play pizza tower nobody base Better than bad boy? Nobody. That was a joke just for people in Toronto only. You enjoy? All two of you? Did that not kill you? Alright, heal me up. Heal me up. Come on. Celeste is not better than Pizza Tower. What? Oh man, now I have to play it just to prove you wrong. Well played, Chatter. Alright, where are we going? You can hear them. I don't know what's going on upstairs. Those are having fun though, so that's good. Joe, you could play Pizza Tower in your Steam Deck and be happy with it, but Hi Fi Rush is a good stream game. What do you mean? I'm not gonna be happy playing Pizza Tower on my Steam Deck? Cause I'll be playing Pizza Tower. Worst game of 2023. Why would I buy Pizza Tower when instead I could buy a pizza? <laughs>
<laughs> All right, this is the boss room. What's going on? Ooh. Oh, you guys have the dodge now too? God damn it. Taught me that running through areas is fine. Okay, so they're bullet spongy as fuck in here, and also they they now have the dodge ability. So you know what? I actually am legitimately not going to kill them. I don't care. All right, I'm safe here. I'm invincible in here, right? <sighs> Did you get any new weapons in that? Not so far, and I think that's a misstep. I think, oh wow, I think it's supposed to go up here. A couple new weapons would have been good, or at least like, like one. Oh, oh, oh! Spoke too soon. Is it just this, or oh? Don't cross the streams. Don't cross the streams. That's how you get great vegetables. And they have their own sewer system too. Where's their conveyor belt with setting poop on fire? Joe would be a nightmare in dishonor. Why? What would I do? Kill everybody? I would probably, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Is that safe to step on? It looks like it actually. It's safe, right? It's trippy. We must be getting close to the end now, right? 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 Oh, it looks really good. As the game's go as the game goes on, the graphics get better. Is that what it was meant to do? Because if so, holy shit. 
Do you think Zen has been overall improved or just expanded for the sake of it? I think it's definitely been overall improved. I do, I do not think this is for the sake of it. I think this is really cool. He says, getting stuck again. Um... I just climb up here. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I could. I didn't realize I could duck under that. That looks really tight. Holy crap! Oh, time to burn the poop. Oh crap! Oh no! Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Panic jumping worked. All right. We don't. We don't like these cubes. Fuck this cube. All right. All right. Well. Ooh. See why they're discarding it. Who else is excited for the Mario movie? Who's gonna go see it day one? Uh oh. My boys are very excited. I don't think I'm gonna take them day one though. I think I'll wait for the uh for the showings to settle down a little bit, because it's gonna be, you know, full every day for the first little while. So we're definitely close to the end now, because this is the last kind of section, right? Once we start getting into conveyor belts and pillars, we're close to the end. Not Puss in Boots 2, The Last Wish, so it's not amazing. What, how, what is this The Last Wish, like, defense force that has emerged? There are people on Jads. Hello, Raiders. How's it going, Backseat Raiders? Backseat Raiders, there are people in my community that think and will argue that Puss in Boots 2 The Last Wish is better than Shrek 2. And I'm not saying that The Last Wish is a bad movie because I haven't seen it, but better than Shrek 2, that is a... That's a tall order, okay? Actually, true takes. Wow. Wow. No sexy wolfman equals bad. Okay. Was there a comma missing in that? No, comma. Sexy wolfman equals bad. Right? There was a comma missing, right? Oh, we have to go up into the vent instead. Pizza Tower. No, we're not playing Pizza Tower. 
I refuse. Oh crap. Alright, I have to get on get on the cube. Alright. You know what? I could do without this section, but I guess we, we are seeing what they're doing, although I have further questions. Why is there a cherry on top? Alright. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Calculated. Calculated. Anyway, how, how's it going, Raiders? What was Backseat doing? More FNAF? Oh, why does this work? Losing our FNAF 3. Getting his ass kicked by FNAF 3. I know nothing about Five Nights at Freddy's. I didn't know that that was a thing that, like, isn't it just like you, you look at cameras? I guess I do know something about it. Oh, crap. Yep, yeah, alright, there you go. Joe, play FNAF? Maybe I should. I'm surprised at how much of a cultural staple it's been. It's been around for a while now. People love the, the, the Nights at Freddy's. I know the song by the Living Tombstone, Why Do You Want to Stay Five Nights at Freddy's. That's a bit of a bop, not gonna lie. Five Nights at Freddy's. That's pretty much all you need to know, yeah? Okay, that's gonna take us back to where we just were. What, what, what is this happening? Alright, let's go in. I'm going in. I'm going in. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going in. Ah, uh, okay. I went in. The games are less scary and more so like a reactionary game. Like, FNAF 2 feels like a rhythm game? Later nights? Oh, does it? Okay. Has it been long enough already that people are nostalgic for finance and I think so, yeah. This is just insane level design. Insane level design. Like, I'm, I'm just doing shit and thinking maybe that'll work and then it does and I'm just like, what the hell? I guess that means I'm insane. <laughs> insane level design, what the hell? I like, I like it too, but I feel like I, at any point I could get hard stuck for like 20 minutes and start whining. If you want something short, you could start Umi Neko tomorrow. Yeah, we could start Umi Neko, we could. Umi Neko Saturdays on a Friday. Joe, have you played Signalis? I have not, no. We could do a Signalis main menu stream tomorrow. That would, that would be fun, right? Okay, I can totally jump past that. Uh, sorry, where are we going? Where are we going? Alright, I don't... Was this not the way? I don't, I don't know what to do. Shit. All right, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Let's reload. I'm sure you've addressed this, but did you play Disco Elysium? I did. Not only did I play it, I streamed it. But um, the vods are not on 
YouTube because of copyright. Which is also why the Life is Strange VODs are not on YouTube either right now. They're in copyright hell. I'm dealing with that. I wanted them up like three weekends ago and then all of a sudden here comes the copyright bullshit. Okay, is there a gap in the in the in the thing here somewhere I can sneak down? Ooh, what's that? Oh. Well, shit. Backseat said Umineko or no balls. I, I will accept the no balls. That's an easy no balls for me, Chief. Cackle E, cackle E, cackle E. Okay, it's happened. I'm stuck, and now I don't know what to do. Shit. We got past that, but didn't do anything. We already were down there. We got here by following the... Okay, we came from over there. We got past here. We activated the teleport. Then we got over here. All right, so now what? We have to jump from here to somewhere else, maybe. We did that teleport already. Do we jump onto that one? No, we, we were here before. This is right back to where we started. No, that's not it. Down here? Oh, all right, where are we going? Oh man, what the hell, really? Insane level design, I agree. I agree. Now we have to jump on this part. Wait, weren't we here before? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Seen. Dun 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 dun. Incinerator room? Thank you for the resub backseat streams, and also thank you for the raid. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for killing me, Backseat Streams. <laughs> oh man, look at the arrows. It's cute.
All right, now we jump back onto the cube. Again, back up. All right, now I'll go back onto the cube. All right. And then. I'm gonna put a section like this in my game. I'm taking notes right now. I'm taking notes. million gun parts just appeared right now. Yes. Oh, okay, I missed it. Alright. We gotta be close to the end now. Where the hell did that come from? I've got no more bullets. Whoa. Whoa. What's going on? Jeff, 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 Jeff. Seems like I haven't seen Puss in Boots The Last Wishes won the poll, which means that Shrek 2 must be the better movie because more people have seen it. I am very intelligent. I feel like we have to go on one of these when they hop up into the air. Okay, okay. No, we don't. We go up the ramp. We go up this thing. The casino! Fucking hell. Why is this so hard? Alright, we did it. World first. I was full health for that? And still dying that fast? Holy crap. I'm still really enjoying the section though. Alright, this is where we came from, right? Yeah. So this is where we're going. It's not. This is not where we're going.
shoot? Why? Why would I think to shoot it? It's not- it's different from the ones we saw earlier. Oh my god- WHAT?! That's not that obvious, chat! What the hell? It's glowing red pulsing thing- Well, why would I think to shoot it? It's not a friendly NPC or a Vortigaun! It is really not. You wanna how I know? Cause if it was, I would have done it. That's what obvious means. What what the fuck are you doing? This room's hard. Alright, maybe we need to take it slow. Whoa, hold on, I missed the Vortigaunt. Oh, he got away. That was fun, I like that. Now a moment of quiet before the last boss. This level is called saved dot dot dot. What the hell? Why am I falling off now? That's weird. Joey just shoved them out of line. You call yourself Canadian. Hey, some Canadians are rude as hell. Alright? Rude as hell. Haven't you heard Northern Lion talk about how he doesn't like waiting for people when they're ordering more than one kind of meat at the deli aisle? Like, come on. 
Some Canadians are rude as hell and I'm one of them. If someone wants to drop $700 worth of, of, of CAD money on, on some deli meat, why are these off center? What's going on here? Then they should be allowed to do it. Wait, that was you? No, I didn't. I agreed with Northern Lion's take. I think you should only, you, you should be courteous to the people that are behind you in the line and not over order. But it wasn't my take. I'm hyper aware of everyone when I go out. My whole philosophy of life is if I'm outside, I'm inconveniencing someone just by breathing. So, you know, be as fast as possible, in and out. Don't talk to anyone unless you absolutely have to. Why are you invincible? Oh, I know this room. That's an ADHD system. What the fucking ADHD fucking... Okay, I destroyed it. Now what? Joe, do you need a therapist? Do you know how hard it is to get a good therapist? What is, what is the ball? Why is the ball here? What's the ball for? Magic orb? Alright, what if we put it in the conveyor belt? Haha! -ha, now what? Now what? so good yes now what ha 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 it was so worth I have a heal station, please. That's what I want for Christmas. What? What? Off. I want off. Thank you. Uh-oh. What the fuck? What the Oh, this is where we were at the beginning. Never mind. All right, I went the wrong way. All right, now we're back up here. Okay, I want to go up. I want to go forward, up, 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 forward, forward, no, no, okay, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, let's load it. Maybe we're not supposed to be here yet. We're supposed to go somewhere else first. Maybe we go around the other way, like this, and we skip over. Ah, no, this isn't it either at all. Just think it's it. Yeah, that's true. I'm not thinking crazy enough. We probably have to go really high up and then all the way back down again. That's what we have to do. Like, we go up here, we go up just to go down. Now that we're up, we go down on this pipe, and then we follow the pipe the other way onto this other conveyor belt down here. And now when we get back here, no, 
No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's rule this out. All right. Ruled out. What about over here? No, it doesn't look like it actually. Seems like we were wrong. If only he looked 20 degrees to the left and up. Fahrenheit or Celsius? Alright, I'm looking up. I'm looking up. I don't see anything. What if... What if... I... Oh, shit. Shit. What if... I jump on the box as it's coming up. He's, I'm not trolling! What? Why does it kill me? Why does it kill me? What the fuck? Why? Can we get around it that way? Aha! Alright, we did it! We got around! But why? This doesn't help! Alright, let's keep going around. Do 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 Alright, we're back! Alright, what did this get us? Yeah, that still breaks. Can I break this thing? No. <sighs> Actual tro You know what? I wish I could know right now whether or not, like, that's legit. Because there's been times in the past where, like, oh, he's trolling. Actual troll. How does he not know where to go? And then we find out and no one in chat knew either. Maybe you have to use the balls. The balls seem very powerful. Maybe we need to get a ball up on up on the, 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 the jumper, and then when the ball goes on the jumper, it'll... I, I don't know. Alright, it has to be, it has to be up. Let's go up. Let's go up. We're up. Here we go. We're up. Alright, the teleport goes here. Going to over there doesn't work. Going down there doesn't work unless we go down on one of those pipes. It's gotta be something to do with this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Could it be? Could it be? That sucks. That actually sucks. Yes, we could heal. Oh my god, I figured it out five minutes ago. I've never, I never played it. Go! Be, begin your career as a speedrunner then, because obviously you're a genius. You're a gaming genius. Go! 
you're like Anakin Skywalker of the gamers. You need to do it. The world needs you. League of Legends needs you. back and heal. Oh, we don't need to. We're, we're actually pretty high health. I thought we took a lot more damage than that. I'm surprised. Oh, red pipe. Here we go. Okay, it's in there somewhere. Go down. I'm lost and confused. This doesn't have a red pipe. What am I supposed to do? Teleport. I can't, it's not active. This is where I was before, wasn't it? No, it's different. Let's go over here. I don't remember coming here. Where, where the fuck am I? How did I get here? Did it auto- Oh, it auto saved me at the top. I was like, where the fuck am I? I thought I, I thought I was gonna have to repeat something I already did. Okay, sorry. Can you guess, get lost going? Well, it looks really, really identical all over the place, and uh, I didn't realize it auto saved me. So when I reloaded, I thought it was going to be down further, further down below, at, at a place I'd already done. Like even chat seemed to think so too, because they were like, "Take the teleport." I saw one person in chat say it, so I'm going to say everyone in the chat was saying it, because it makes me look good.
All right, I freed you now. We're all friends now, right? We're all friends? We're cool? All right, good. All right. We're all friends. Yeah, all friends. Remember, no Vortigees. Are they spawning? Are they respawning? Oh, I wasn't anywhere near that. That was cool, though. That was cool. I don't think that hit me, though. I got... Oh, did I get crushed on the thing next to the laser? Oh, okay. I might have been near that. Yeah, okay, that one for sure, yeah. Okay, that one for sure. That one for sure. I like that, that was cool. Can this be considered racism? No, because I killed the friendly humans too. The opposite would be considered racism. Okay, I feel like we've been here before. Oh, we have been here before. All right. Oh, balls! Yeah, we're so dead. We're so unbelievably dead. There's no way. Unless... Unless... Yes! Alright, we did it. We did it. Now what do we do with the balls? So this is what we're doing today, huh? This is what we're doing today? Yep, there we go. This is kind of cool, actually. Alright, so what do I do? For this one? Right now. Yeah. Okay. Shit. I expected this. Oh, I thought we'd have to go up through the uh, the lasers.
This has to be the final puzzle round before the last boss, right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. After this, we, we kill Giant Floating Baby. Gotta be. Place of power, gotta be. Puzzle is going to be this time. Maybe there is no puzzle. That's the puzzle. All right, then. What? How are the lasers being suspended by this thing? Oh crap! Alright, very clever game, very clever. At this point, do you think the final boss will be better or worse than the original? Much better. I have a good feeling about the final boss. It's gonna be much, much better. You're gonna have the empowered um, Ghostbuster cannon the whole time, and it's just gonna be a breeze. Walk in the park. Walk in the park. Nothing could go wrong. Okay, I don't know what to do. We go up. We go up. Oh, and for sure. And for sure. All right. It's Alien Amazon. scuffed, but okay. <clears throat> uh oh. Dun 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 Is it another dumpster level? I just said no one left. Alright. Oh. oh, the last boss is a lot smaller in this game. Dead. Done. Easy. Creds, please.
do 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 I feel like the interiors of this place do not look as good as the exteriors did earlier on. better than OG Zen. I agree, yeah. Thank you very much. It's very polite of them. Want a fair fight? Oh, shit. long section, huh? Wow, still not done. All right. Man, what is this for? What do they what do they use this for? Like the end. Shit. Okay, the slowdown there. Okay, so there's conveyor belts that are moving me into the walls. So I need to be aware of that when I go in. Alright. Oh, man. Gamer brain is making me rush because the enemies are invincible, and I don't want to uh, waste time. Right now. What the fuck? 
Kill me there. Oh, what the hell? They're suspending explosive barrels and fling them at me? Damn. They, they, they're not messing around. They really want the Freeman dead. They're not friends with the Freeman at all. Did we get it? Okay, we got it. Yeah, so if I'm inside, they're gonna start throwing barrels at me. So I need to get inside or I need to dodge out real quick and uh... Oh, I can heal! Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Alright, one seemed to be open for damage there. He's dead. All right. I thought to kill all four of them before they were going to be um, vulnerable, but I guess not. All right, so this is, this is a lot easier than I thought it was. This has no for death. Yep. I know that chatter, it's just that I'm trying to get in there so the guys can't hit me and I'm getting a little too close. I'm just getting it wrong. Okay, there we go. We should be fine now. See, because of the explosions. Throw explosive barrels at me. Alright, now, now they should be fine. Alright, we did it. All of that. Cool. Should a bomb be more effective in this situation? Yeah, maybe, um, maybe throwing a bomb in there is the way to go, but it's. I think it auto switches me back to the. To the Ghostbuster beam whenever I get next to a green crystal. That wasn't so bad. If I had realized that I could use the blue crystal earlier, that would have went a lot smoother. Thank you, Dcross950 for the resub, and thank you to K Roniverse for the resub as well. The Joe is always slower. Not always, but the Joe is always more fun for the Joe, and that's the most important thing. All right. Okay, I don't think I can hit him. I admit, this does feel like an assault. It really feels like, okay, we have him trapped, let's just throw everything at him. Coming in with bombs and shit. It's pretty good. I was saying earlier, it feels like the library from Halo 1. Yeah. I see where you're coming from.
computers. Paper. Pizza. Okay, why are you being cute about ammo now? final boss room to me. Shit, no! Hi there, if Persona 3 is as different compared to 4 as 4, for, for, Persona 4 is compared to 5, would you still like it? Um, I think so, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna enjoy the gameplay at all, so it's gonna come down to the story and the characters. Which people must really like, right? Because everyone loves that game. So it's gotta be good. Alright, here we go. The last boss. Is it is it through here? That looks really cool. Holy shit. Oh, this is metal as hell. Here we go. They like expose the uh, the crystal. Oh no, you don't. You just you just you just hit it. In the wrong way.
Yeah, crossbow time! We're gonna get it with the crossbow. Take that, alien tech. Get tranked. It's working! Break all the shields. I have a feeling we have to break all the shields. Actually, I don't know. Break all the shields. I'm having trouble seeing the shields. Starting to think I made the wrong decision, blowing up the shields. Yeah, shotgun. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. De de definitely, definitely the wrong decision, blowing up the shields. Uh -oh. What the path of exile is this? No, hit the baby. Hit the baby. Okay, 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 cool. Thank you. They call it a missile. Blowing up the shield. The whole shield. No more shield. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. All oh, shield came back. Okay, I feel like we have to do another yellow crystal when it comes up. Is he about to do that right now? Pain sounds. Crossbow time. Crossbow time. Oh, oh damn. Oh damn, he does not like the crossbow. Let's quick save it for no reason whatsoever. Oh, holy shit. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. What the f Oh, dead. yep, I'm dead. Oh man, I'm dead. I was close to. Okay, so I'm not in love with um, the red things that go on the floor and you can't fucking see where they are until you turn around and it's really hard to see. This move is awesome, I really like this move. The beams are pretty good that you have to time the jump away, but anything that you're like, oh shit. Like, yeah, that, that's pretty bad. Need to get better at jumping away. Yeah. Okay, that time you didn't even do it, doesn't it? Let's grab this. Throwing a tank at me? That's cool. Need to be higher. Needed to be higher. Shit. He says before dying. That not hit, or is it multiple hits? Yeah, that hit. How many hits is it? How many hits is it? That's a lot. Oh, it's not. Alright, the missiles just weren't doing damage to it properly then? That's really weird. Alright, that kind of sucked. At the end there. The boss outside of that was really cool. I really liked that. That was good.
maybe us something that doesn't have 20 seconds travel time? Use, you mean? Uh, that's irrelevant, because the missile was actually hitting it. Like, we saw multiple times that the missile was hitting the, the big yellow rock in its brain, so... It's just the missile just wasn't doing damage to it for some reason. That's very pretty. Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, in the hazard suit. I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the Most suit, of them. I think you've earned it. The border world. Zen is in our control. For the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. A job, damn. You agree with me that you have limitless potential. This is how hard it was you to get a job in the 90s. Yourself a decisive man. So I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. Wipes label audibly. Otherwise, well, I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anti-climax after what you've just survived. Time to choose. I always like that. Time to choose. Oh, it's better than the original. It's time to choose. Maybe it's the same, actually. Maybe it's that line I like better. It's time to choose. No, that's definitely different. Well, it looks like we won't be working together. No regrets, Mr. Freeman. What was that? That's way better than the original. We could have won that though. We could have just ran around. Can I quick load it from here? Out of memory or address space, texture quality setting may be too high. It crashed. Damn. Just like in the original. Just like in the original. What a faithful remake. Time to choose. <sighs> Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead.
Hold on, we need to hear the best line. Fruit never expires. All right, so this was really good. I feel like this is two games in one. There's like a, their own version of like opposing force or like blue shift, which was the remade reimagining whatever of, uh, of Zen, which to me was the highlight of the whole playthrough. I really enjoyed Zen. It was really cool. I liked the changes they made. I like I liked the expansion. I'm not sure if I would like it as much if I, um, was replaying the game, or if I was looking for a very su super faithful, just just some minor tweaks and updated graphics, please. That'll be twenty dollars plus tip. Um, I might be upset if that's the case, but I really I didn't really like Zen in the original game, although it wasn't that bad. Um, the last boss is the clear winner here in, of Zen because it made it really really fucking obvious what you're supposed to do, and instead of being like. I don't get it. I don't even know if I'm doing damage. I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing. Instead, it's it's very clear that you are on the right path and you're dealing damage to the boss. Visual spectacle was really cool. Um, apart from that, like the airstrike ability that it could do, which was really annoying to see. Uh, the rest of it was really good. Um, felt more epic. Yeah, uh, a little overboard on the chase se chase sequences throughout Zen, but uh, the slow parts were pretty good. The factory section was kind of nonsense, but we still got through it. Some of the conveyor belt puzzles I could have done without, maybe. Um, laser stuff was good. Before that, before Zen, I felt like it was pretty faithful. Um, the changes they made, I think, were for the better, or at least were neutral. Uh, I think the only part that was, I would say, was worse was... I actually can't remember. There was there was a part that I said yesterday that that was that was worse. What was it? I don't know. I can't remember what it was. But it was de it was definitely was it the water part? There was one of the water parts that was worse. The big a oh the big alien zap was definitely worse. Yeah, that should have been better, or that should have been like the original. Yeah, because you you have to make him chase you down the tunnel and there's like it's like there's like a building of like tension there and then like kaboom instead of just being like oh just run over to the thing and hit the button and lamayo you got him um yeah overall i'm very impressed by this i would say that of the games that we played i enjoyed half-life episode 2 the most then this then half-life 2 then half-life 2 episode 1 then half-life 1 base game then opposing force I don't know if I like Blue Shift more than Hunt Down the Freeman. Blue Shift felt like a waste of fucking time. There were some there were some fun okay puzzles in Blue Shift, but Blue Shift was kinda like, I don't even know why this exists, whereas Hunt Down the Freeman was at least trying to do something, I guess. I don't know. Blue Shift is really bad. Uh But yeah, that's I I don't know. You said enjoyed. Was Hunt Down the Freeman not enjoyable? It was enjoyable as a stream game. Like as a game itself, it was like eh, I don't know. Like I feel like there's a lot of there's a really interesting video that someone could make, not me, that would compare Black Mesa to Hunt Down the Freeman because in in Black Mesa they made some really big ex additions and expansions, and it shows that they at some level I would say at a even to an intermediate to an advanced level they understand Valve's philosophy of game design. Uh, the way that they, they structure puzzles, the way they structure common encounters in the best kind of way, the way they build on concepts and level design and how it feeds into each other. I felt like the Black Mesa devs understood it. And I felt like the Hunt Down the Freeman devs uh, didn't, except for like these faint glimmers here and there where they just kind of accidentally had it. I feel like that the, the Hunt Down the Freeman dev could have done some really cool things with the parkour system and letting you explore different parts of the Half-Life 2 universe when you're running through the, the trail of, of Gordon. Like, I feel like they could have done that. There was that one room where you have to climb up after you get stranded down there. And that one room was all I needed to see to be like, oh, holy shit, the whole game could have been like this. The whole game could have been really creative uses of puzzles and, 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 and parkour mechanics between some of the fighting that introduced new weapons. And instead... Almost the whole entire game is just 
non-stop shooting galleries with the combat of half-life 2 which was never really meant to just be pure shooter anyway um you know ev even here in black mesa like when it gets to be a shooting gallery toward the end they're putting shit in your way they're powering up your weapon they're making it interesting the black mesa devs really understood that of course you know to backtrack that a little bit from that, it's basically just copying what they did with the gravity gun at the end of Half-Life 2, so, you know, they had an easy template to work with, but Hunt Down the Freeman didn't even work with that template, you know? Um, I will say Hunt Down the Freeman gets much better as it goes along, it gets more interesting. I would say that the last half, or the last third of Hunt Down the Freeman, is actually an okay game. Before that, it is terrible. The The opening, especially, is just god-awful. Um, but the, the last third... You know what? It's not that bad. There, there are some interesting ideas um, that they're trying to do, at least. I don't see they're very interesting, but they're trying to do something, at least toward the end. Um, so you got to give credit for that. Um, but yeah, that's where I would rank it. I was really happy to play Episode 2, uh, finally. The, the last section of that was the highlight of the whole playthroughs of all the games. Really, really like that part. The marriage of, of the vehicle system, the physics system, the gravity gun, the strider combat, um, also having to do on foot combat while also exploring a wide area. Really, really good with, with a new gadget to do too. It's really easy to make something like that and have it be completely fucking stupid and frustrating. And it wasn't, it was really cool. Now, the game also cheats a little bit in your favor by making it so the shots that land with, with pelting the thing onto the strider and shooting it, um, it fudges the accuracy a little bit. We saw that, right? It has a little bit of a man magnetic cling to it, but it was still pretty fun. I really enjoyed that section. That was really cool. Um, yeah, I think that's it. It was fun to return to the games. I didn't even know Black Mesa was this big of a deal. So that was the biggest surprise for me. I'm really glad I played it. I had a good time. Uh, yeah. Cool. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do you think the opposing force alien weapons being in Zen would have improved it even more? Mm, I didn't really use those, so I'm going to say no, or no to maybe. I don't know. It could have. I think having a couple a couple new weapons in Zen would have been nice. Yeah. Maybe one or two. I didn't really like the alien weapons. Maybe some new alien weapons? Just something would have been nice. They added some new some new enemy varieties and uh, or variants, and that was cool. They could have gone maybe another step further with that, maybe. I don't know. But the environments were really nice. I really liked uh, Zen. Charlie Chan, obviously the standout of the whole thing. For the uh, for the stream fun. Would you ever try Bl Black Mesa Blue Shift when it's finished? It's a Black Mesa style remake of Blue Shift and halfway done currently. Yeah, like I'll I'll play whatever these guys do next because Mesa was that because Zen was that impressive. Um, because like up until that point, it was like okay, they were just like redoing what w the work that was already done for them. And then in Zen, it's like okay, we're just gonna make something almost wholly new. There were some parts there that were were redone parts, uh, re redone uh, sections of uh, of Half Life One. Um, but a lot of that was just new stuff and it was really good. It really, really worked out. So I would, I would play what they do next. Yeah, for sure. It's by a different team. Okay. Well, fuck it then. No, I'm not interested. Fuck that. No way. Do, 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 do. It's a different collective. It's the wrench collective. No, the Black Mesa devs are making a new original FPS. That's good. That's for the best. Do, 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 do. They probably should have just done that from the beginning. Who said it? I think it was I think it was Wooly that said it in a video. And this is I don't really know Wooly all that well. So like I, I this is the only video I think I've ever seen Wooly in. I think it is Willie. Willie said uh, about a video about fan games, and he's basically saying, you know, you should never ever make them. Like you're gonna get you're gonna get copyright struck or whatever. You're gonna struck down. And he had all these examples of like different devs that were like had the blessing of the creator, had the blessing, had a, had an official voice actor on the team, had the blessing of the publisher, and it's like, and then and then every single time, even after having the blessing, having the permission, still got struck down. As soon as as soon as the lawyers find out or anyone higher up enough finds out, like even if they ha just just don't do it, you know. Um, but he made an excellent point, which is that just just I know it's it's a, it's more work, but just make 
a fucking original game and then you know the little bird flies around with like like an unpack mod that will change all of the assets into the official assets of of the game that you were uh that you were make <clears throat> that you were making a fan game on like like that's the best way to do it not only is it the best way to do it because you're not going to get fucking struck down and you can finish your game but you also get to sell your fucking game you can make money off of it just just make your game and then do that at the end or fuck it just make your own game and hope someone does it for you then even i don't know like does that mean twice the assets well it depends on what parts of it have to be recognizable as part of the of the franchise that you're doing that for right <clears throat> it depends i don't want money yeah you do 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 this is what Joe's doing right now with Gungeon. Ooh. A little far off. Little far off. Not completely far off. Little far off. Did you enjoy Half Life 2 more because of the trolley chance shenanigans? Um. Probably, yeah. I enjoyed doing that. That was a lot of fun. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Any questions about the playthroughs before I go? Because it's pretty late. It's almost 8 o'clock. How is Lily? About the games. About the playthroughs. Lily's fine. Do I have your blessing to make Marcy and Senpai's? You do, but as soon as I see uh, any working screenshot from it, I'm going to take it back. Any game confirmed for tomorrow? I can confirm that we're not fucking playing Pizza Tower tomorrow. I can confirm that much at least. There's a mod on Steam made by the official devs. It's basically a museum of Zen, beta maps, and concept art. Oh, that's neat. Blue Shift Remake next. It's not, it's not a thing. I don't think it's a thing. Is it a thing? Yeah, it's not a thing. Don't place analysis. Okay, I won't. Do, 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 do you think they should release Half Life 3 or has it been uh, too long? I, I think it's fine to release The Witcher 3 video when, whenever it's ready. Do, 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 play Hi Fi Rush. It's not a one stream game, though. Hi Fi Rush is like three streams. It's a th it's a three piece. Atomic car also not a one stream game unfortunately. Finish stray. <sighs> yeah, I guess we could finish stray. I don't want to. <laughs> it was kind of boring. I'm glad you had the final battle of Half-Life 2 Episode 2 for the longest time. That was my favorite set piece in an FPS game. What, what's your favorite now? I would struggle to think of a, a better set piece than that. I know better combat sections because Doom Eternal exists, but a better set piece is, hmm, Doom Eternal DLC. Now, I'd want to replay the whole thing. I know people might be mad about that, but I'd like to replay the whole thing in Doom Eternal to get into the groove for the DLC because I hear the DLC is really hard. Maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I could just jump into it. I don't know. How many views should Witcher 3 get so that you would sincerely consider it worth the work? There's there's no amount of views that would consider it worth the work. The whole thing has been a disaster. There's like there's there's no amount of views. Like we're we're getting into like fantasy level amount amount of views where it'd have to get like 10 million in the first week. And then it just keeps going from that. You know? Like like an absurd never gonna happen amount of views that it's like, oh my god, this is like Here's a million dollar, you know, like it, it would like, like, no, it is what it is at this point, which honestly has been pretty liberating. It's like, yeah, whatever. Read the pin. There is no pin. I don't see a pin. There's no pin on my screen. Thank you, Dick Cheney, Ace Attorney for the resub. I think that came in while, while we're doing the boss. Sorry about that. And thank you, Arknox, for resubscribing as well. You doing okay, Arknox? How's it going? 
Pizza Tower is only six hours. Damn, I only streamed for five hours. Pin said, unironically, Katamari Damasi would be fun and would fit one stream. Is it on Steam? Sudoku stream? Oh god, I'm not doing Sudoku. I could not do Sudoku for five hours. I've never played uh, Katamari. Take a day off. I could take a day off. I have been kind of sick this week. So that's not out of the question. But I would like to do my four days. Like if anything, I want to up upgrade the schedule to five days. Because I don't, I don't need a, I don't need a three day weekend. You know? I don't need that. Witcher 1 video launch along? Mm, yeah, we could do that. No, that's going to take a while. That's going to take a while. Have you ever played Herd of To The Moon? Um, I've heard of it. I heard good things, but I've never played it. It's an RPG maker game, is it not? Not a one stream video. Yeah, it's not a one stream video. If you play Strawberry Jam for a stream, would you be willing to watch a few videos on Expert Grandmaster stuff afterwards? Probably, but maybe not on stream. I, I've watched something like that before for some mods. Some people are really good at Celeste, man. Thoughts on Itchy Balls? Is that from Yoko Taro? Could watch the no-clip doc for this game for some React Andy. Yeah, but that's like unethical. I don't want to be a React Andy. It's not fun. Witcher 1 is like two hours now. Have I forgotten? Oh, you've forgotten. You've forgotten half of that video. Literally half. Elden Ring watch along, maybe? Why would I do that to myself? That's probably my second favorite video that's released on the channel, by the way. I really like the Elden Ring video. I thought I did a really good job on that, especially with how fast I made it. Can we have a six hour stream tomorrow where we try and guess your real name? I think that would be over in three minutes. At some point in the, in the past, since I said it, um, I, I can't remember if it was on here or on Jad's. I actually do remember, but I'm just going to say that I don't because then you won't be able to narrow it down. Someone did guess my name. So there you go. Is your name Drake? That's where you're Drake. It's true. My name's Drake. Yep. It's Drake. That can be shortened to Draco or just Dre. Have you ever played the Metro series? I have played some of, I think the first Metro. I think I played maybe for a couple hours. Um, it was interesting. I didn't fall in love with it, obviously, because I didn't finish it. But uh, sometimes I have a tendency to just try a game out when I have like a couple hours to kill and then never go back to it. But that was even, I think, before the channel was a thing. So sometimes I would do that. The Elden Ring video made me smile a lot because it's a lot of the same shit I had issues with. I thought I was just a psychopath. And then you found out that we're, we're just a couple of psychopaths. Play Goddess of Victory... I think I know what that is because I think someone said that to me before and then I googled it and I went, God damn it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do, do, do. 
you have anything else to say about Sonaka that didn't make it into the video? I had 20 minutes that I cut from that video that I really wish I hadn't. Where I went into painstaking detail, breaking down how there are just so many layered coincidences in the story that are all dependent on the previous coincidence that happened that makes the story a complete waste of time. And I thought that I didn't have to do it because I thought it would just be fucking obvious and people would be like, yeah, you're right. I thought I wouldn't have to explain, like, the astronomically low chance that it is that the fucking thing crashes in that strip of land in that crater that is very special in that world, if you've played the game that you know, right next to all the other fucking ships that have crashed, like, like just even that alone, and then that's just fucking coincidence number 5 of fucking 27, you know, it's like, but no, no, and then I have to deal with, like, the, the Subnautica Defense Force. Which game is this? Subnautica. Which I really love. I love that game. But the story is shit. <laughs> Are the Oberdin VODs any available anywhere? I did not stream Oberdin. I played that on my own. A question, but are you overall glad you've played more weeb games now since you can now have more of a valid opinion on if a weeb game is good or not? Wow. Alright, well done. Well done on that own. Well done. Well done. It was subtle. It was subtle. That was really that was a really good own. Plus two to you, chatter. That was a really good own. Well done. Why do I remember o Oberdin streams? What the hell? Because people kept saying, um, you should play it, you should play it, you should play it. That's why. But I never I never streamed it. I just played it on my own. Have you ever considered streaming the Zelda series games? Yeah, I, I mentioned that uh, earlier in the stream. I would like to do it at some point. If you want to keep the trend of playing fan games, I've been having a lot of fun playing Portal Reloaded. And you might like it too. Oh, Portal mods might be fun, yeah. I don't think we're going to do that tomorrow, but that might be fun to do at some point in the future. I love Portal. More more Portal or some fun Portal shit would be uh, right up my alley. Is Elden Ring's story good? I don't think Elden Ring really has a story. It, it's in that lore area kind of thing. It might do somewhere, but if it does, I didn't pay attention to it. So I'm not going to answer one way or the other. The Looker, the Witness parody game. And make Jonathan Blow even more angry at me? Um, I don't think the Looker will fill up a stream. So we could just play that and then just talk for the rest of it, maybe. Do, 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 do. You ever tried Superliminal? If not, it's a great one stream game. I've seen that before. It looked really interesting. Q&A maybe. The looker is literally free. Yeah, but it's like I want the stream to be like... If we're going to do a bunch of small games, I would like to schedule them and we'll just go like dominoes. Like boom, 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 boom. And we'll do them all. Looker plus Lost Coast. What, what is this Lost Coast grouping? Why does the Lost Coast have so many stands? It's like a fucking 30 second experience. You load the game, you step outside, you're like, yep, that's the Lost Coast. Look at HDR. Isn't it great? Yeah, all right. Get out and play the real game now. This is how Helltaker DLC can still be streamed. Yeah, we'll do that on and the Looker and Lost Coast and like five other games all at once. Not tomorrow though. I once again suggested the stream sample platter. Hour and a half of Signalis, hour and a half of Pizza Tower, hour and a half of High Fever. This is just getting me to play Pizza Tower with extra steps. If, if it was a one stream game, I would be keen to play Hi-Fi Rush tomorrow, alright? I would be keen to play that. Now that I understand better that the streamer mode has better songs in it and everything, it's not just like, oh, you turn it on and suddenly the menu's silent. I am more keen to play that now. However, I don't want to play just one and that's it. And I don't want to delay Deadly Premonition either because like we're right at the end of the week. I like starting new games on a Tuesday. Everyone has the weekend to figure out, oh shit, we're starting the new game. 
next week. All right, here we go. I'm hyped for that. Or I'm going to go see if that game is worth my time. Let me go look at some Let's Play thing and see if it's interesting or whatever. All right, cool. I'm going to show up for that. No, I'm skipping this week. I don't want to be, oh, surprise, we're doing Hi-Fi Rush for a week or whatever. Start Hi-Fi Rush Tuesday. Because then we're pushing, we're pushing Deadly Permission back. Chat complaining, I am not getting through the voted games fast enough. Also, chat, delay the voted games by playing the, the new hotness that just came out. Why do you want me to play Katamari Damas? It's like it's gonna be so boring. This is not a good stream game. Isn't this like a stress relief game? It's a classic. Yeah, I know it's a classic, but just because it's a classic doesn't mean it's gonna make a good stream game. Oh yeah, well, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm saying it's a bad stream game. It's gonna turn into a Q&A. That's what it's gonna be. It's roll shit into a ball, chat. Chat just wants you to play the games that Jerma did. And I'm sure when Jerma played it, at one point, he turned his webcam off. And when he turned his webcam back on again, he had all of his fucking kitchen appliances fucking glued to his fucking body. And as he went on, more people threw shit at him because he magnetized his toaster and all the metal parts of him. And he just kept getting fucking bigger as he played the game. And he never addressed it or acknowledged it. And he was just like, chat, what's wrong with you? As he just sat there and just got bigger and bigger and bigger until you literally couldn't see him. And it was just a fucking, his hands outside with the gamepad playing the game and still somehow playing. That's probably what, that's probably why it was a good stream. I can't do that shit. I can't believe Joe didn't cut the stream in the middle of that round. I could, I could, I could be gone. I have to pee again. Play Zoo Tycoon. We only have one animal. Maybe take a break tomorrow and then stream Monday to see how if I do week. Yeah, but then if we stream on Monday, people might not realize we're streaming on Monday and then they might miss the, the first first stop of Deadly Premonition and they're not going to be here for the rest of it. It's not a bad idea for, an, for a week coming up but like it's not something good to just like spring on people i think i am once again simping for cruelty squad it's cruelty squad looks really weird i don't know if i want to play cruelty squad is it one stream cruelty squad like what even is cruelty squad it's a mess and how is it good Isn't it? It's like a game about games, isn't it? It's just deconstructing how shit games are. Yeah, this game would make a good stream game? Not really. What do you mean? It's, it looks like this on purpose? What do you mean, not really? The life bar takes up a quarter of the screen? On purpose? Like, not trying to make a point of irony about, about games. It's just, that's just the best UI they could think of. There's a border around the screen. Like, you're playing on a fucking virtual boy. Like... Postmodern, it's postmodernist capitalism critique. Oh man, if you ever want to make anything you like sound better, just just say that. Black Mesa was really good. It was postmodern capitalism critique. I 
XCOM Game Dev Minecraft Power Watch Sim. You should do a tier list stream tomorrow. What 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 should the tier list be? What should we do? What should we rank? I don't have the Riz of of NL. Okay, I don't know if I can do a tier list stream. Should we do Should we do React Court? The rumors of React Court's plagiari plagiarize have been greatly exaggerated. Yeah, let's let's do React Court. NL doesn't own. Am I the asshole? He doesn't own it. You don't have Riz at all. What the fuck, K? What I do to you? Do a do a what? Do a what do we play stream? <laughs> That's what we're doing right now. Roller Dome, 6.5 hour game. But, I, but we only stream like 5 hours usually. Today was an exception. About once a week we usually do a longer stream. Do, 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 do. Joe, you would generally pop off for Squ Cruelty Squad. It's right up your alley. I mean, if it looks like this and people love it so much, I'm going to guess you're actually right. But I don't know if it would be a good stream game is the thing. And I don't know, is it actually short enough for just one stream? I don't know. I'm a little, I'm a little reticent to misuse a word, um, to, uh, to go for it right now. Do, 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 do. We were right about Hidden of Space. You don't believe you were right about Katamari. But I know what Katamari is. I've seen gameplay of it. I know, I know. How can I not know about Katamari? Like, it's very famous. I know what you do in it. And I just, I just don't see that being like, oh, it's, it's a fucking Q and A stream within five minutes of us starting that game. As I just like, just run around, Katamari sweep. Yeah, that's what you do in the game. You sweep up. It's a cleaning game. It's like power washing simulator. Only you roll a ball over all, all over the shit. You get small things to make your ball bigger. Then you get medium things to make your ball medium and er, and then you get big things to make your ball bigger. The power washing stream was good though, because it was a Q&A! Do, 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 feet? It's feet, not balls? I thought you push a ball around! Don't you roll a ball into things and things stick to it and then you make it bigger? Is it your feet? Bikoi? Oh, it's because you're beak beak. Oh, all right. Do, 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 do. Just start 13 Sentinels to prove the we starting in March thing, and then continue it in April. Oh, that's a good idea. The looker in the witness video. Watch along after. That would only be like two hours, I think. Maybe three. The Chinese Neo Wo Long is up tomorrow. Yeah, I want to play that, but I don't know if I want to play that like on stream for one stream. I do want to play that. That looks fun. I hear it runs like ass on PC though, so maybe I don't want to play that tomorrow. Could just go back to Dead Space for a stream. We would prefer just not to stream at all with the amount of people who are going to show up for that. Let's have a rollicking time of just an impromptu stream 2 of Dead Space because it was so much fun the first time. Best part of that whole entire stream was at the beginning when the zombie ran down the hallway and was like, because it was fucking hilarious. Would Cruelty Squad make a good stream game? The winner. I don't know about it. Thanks, chat. That's great. Thanks. 
Thank you, Argent Mashi, for the resub. Argent Mashi, maybe? I think I'm saying that wrong. Uh oh. Someone coming down? No, we're good. Okay. All right. Um. Man, I don't like making decisions. <laughs> How long is Signalis? Nine hours? Oh, fucking hell. Do a marble strain to figure out what we're playing. Here's what we should do. We should do four hours and 55 minutes of marble races to decide what game we're going to load up to see the title screen of. And then there's the title screen. Boom, done. End the stream. There you go, done. We'll just, we'll just do that. We'll just do that. That sounds like a blast. Pizza Tower title OST is a banger. It would win. What? Make it four hours and I'm in. Strike a hard bargain there. Hard bargain there. Have you played Jazz Punk? I have not played Jazz Punk, no. Alright, I can't make a decision. I'll make a decision before we stream tomorrow. I'll update the title when I've decided. I'm gonna go. I really need to pee. Kids are already in bed, but I think I can go say goodnight to them. They'll probably still be awake, so... I'm going to go. See you later. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your night. If there's no stream tomorrow, have a good weekend. But I think there probably will be a stream tomorrow. Deadly Premonition next week, though. For real, for real. And 13 Sentinels this month. It's happening. It's happening. Alright, fuck it. We'll play Katamari Damacy.